I'm turning it on. Games 5e Adventure. They know how to read. Cool yeah, I don't really know how to read either. That's why I do a trade. Are, you guys are so good at it. My <laughs> I don't got my it. learnings! Hey Brad, you gotta fix that book I got. That book of the gold letter. Did I do something wrong with it? No, I just have it as book with gold letter. Oh, did I not? I thought I changed the name for you. Oh, I'll, I'll fix it uh, um, later. Um, yeah, starting up the uh, second episode zero of Magic Mushrooms Mead. Now I've actually got the name at the top of the screen, so someone who watches Ooh. will actually know what they're watching. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Neato, man. Yeah, friggin' Neato. <laughs> um, today we've got uh, Melissa and Dylan missing, so it's just the um, uh, that would be OG five. crew. Yeah, yeah, right. The original the crew. crew. Yeah. All right. So, oh my god! Now I think about it. How long have we been playing D and D for? It's been um, a long, uh, a long I think, time. Um, minus. Patrick, it would be uh, four years. I think something like yeah, that. Yeah, ever since the uh, game store. I yeah, can't remember yeah. what it's called. Um, the name of the game store? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy got himself into some real hot water. Oh, that's yeah. For sure. Poor guy. Yeah, he got back over. But he's got, a, he's got his own streaming show now, so that's that's good. What happened with this guy? Oh, he, he basically, uh, he had a really bad business model and didn't take money from anybody, so he couldn't pay his rent, so he was like a year behind on rent, and it wasn't Ooh. cheap. The guy was like $30,000 in debt and just pure rent. Yeah. And like, they even had it listed on his thing and said like the building was like condemned, not condemned, what's the word for it? They basically locked him out they locked because him out they were going to and... sell everything that was in there. Yeah. Oh he, yeah, he was gonna have yeah, someone come in with him so that he could take the stuff that wasn't merchandise. And then they were just gonna was, sell all his merchandise to see what I money mean, they could get. He off was of. a he was a super yeah. nice guy and a good DM. So it's not a very wise business. He thought he would get enough foot traffic, so yeah. it was mainly focused on foot traffic. But the thing is, is when you're in the middle of nowhere in the industrial park, you ain't getting exactly. nothing. Right? Was, you should have been like, if you're gonna pull. I think we yeah, got right, lost right. our first time going there, so that was yeah. that was the main problem that he had. If he was in a better location, I'm sure he would have had much better. Um, foot a traffic. better location than cheaper rent, because man, that rent on that building was high. Yeah, rent like he had to make up like twenty five hundred dollars like a month. That's a lot for like a little tiny storefront mm -hmm. in that area. He really like it's an industrial area, so it's going to be expensive, right? What? He really should have been operating out of like somewhere on white or something. Yeah. You think that would have been cheaper on white? Oh, oh they're actually, yeah. Yeah. cheaper, but he would have enough traffic. traffic. Yeah, he would have got that traffic, so it might have made it worth it. Yeah. They they are cheaper because the traffic is terrible. The, yeah, the, white the vehicle traffic. Not on white out. Yeah. Unlike the <laughs> industrial places. Mm. Oh yeah, the industrial places, but it was still expensive to be in the industrial place. To like for how much, how much you would have made versus how much like traffic you would have got. It, like it didn't make sense for him to be in an industrial park and pay that much. Like there's no way, especially when you're relying a hundred percent almost on foot traffic. If you're selling merchandise, maybe. But when you're a hundred percent just in like incoming merchant like foot traffic, no. Like yeah. dude, you you're. You're not gonna win. Yeah, he like never took money from you half the time anyway. The other cards, anyways, and all that stuff he was selling, probably yeah. not that high. Um, so I've got a recap that I actually took notes on. So, um, previously on Magic Mushrooms Mead, uh, you all met coming in together for an assignment to investigate a locked room mystery. Iggy found the keyword to open a portal, and you entered a magnificent mansion and met the sage Matrius who you were looking for. After trying to steal the imp figurine that he wanted to study and harassing him a bit to keep him from returning to his study, he pushed past everyone using shield to prevent a grapple from Golomov, then cried out immediately before the portal closed. 
Um, party split into pairs. Iggy and Severin checked the exercise room. Iggy took all of the daggers. Then they went to the library, fought off a swarm of animated books, then found a book with a golden R in the title on the spine. Yeah. Um, Golomov chatted with the homunculi, coriander, and cumin and prepared breakfast. Then Skamo split off yeah, from him on his own and checked the master bedroom upstairs, found a book with a golden E as part of the title on the spine. Uh, Corbin and Lilith went into the study and talked to a cat that had been laying on a book in on the armchair, then found a secret door that led down into the basement. After being attacked by a quasit disguised as a toad, Lilith left Corbin to himself while Golomov called for breakfast. Uh, Corbin is spending an hour studying the circle on the floor in this room to determine its use. Um, all but Corbin reconvened in the dining room. Lilith told them that the cats don't like the dining room and that one named Spr Stripes saw a lizard get eaten by one of the chairs. Um, Hickey shot the spare chair with that Golomov had moved into the kitchen, which scared all of the cats, making them run away. Um, then Severin used his divine sense, noticed undead directly below the dining room. Iggy shot directly down, managed to hit and kill what he discovered by looking through the hole was a crawling claw. Um, Golomov then decided to move the chairs out of the dining room so everyone could eat in peace and was attacked by a chair mimic. So, chair mimics. we are starting at about the time that the chair mimic fight was happening. Um, Corbin, you just heard a loud noise in the room next door. That we kicked the chair's ass already. Did you I, did, have but I found out? this is going on during that fight. Uh, okay. Okay, well, okay. Yeah. I probably am not going to be too worried about it. I could probably uh, continue on my studies on this. Once I'm done, I'll get up and I'll take a look at what's going on. Okay. So I'd like to find out as much as I can about this before I go back. Because I imagine I'd have to go back up the stairs. Do I feel like it's in a room... Like right next to me? Oh, it's in the room right next to you. You heard it through the door that's, if you step back one step, you can see the door. Yeah, and then I'll go through, I'll have to go through the hallway to find out. Is that on the left or the right? Um, it is right to your right, this closed door. Oh, all right. Okay. So am I done checking this bad boy out? Um, you think you could pause your study for long enough to open the door and see what's going on? Let's do that. I'm gonna take a quick, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it very quietly. I don't want to, you know, if there's actually something in there, I just want to peek through and see. Okay. Do you want you me to roll? Open the door slightly. You see what looks like a bunch of brine on the floor. Then a small creature. Um, you feel a bite on your leg, uh, taking one point of damage, which I already took off of your character. All right. Um, a small bite? A small bite. It hurts um, when you pull your pant leg up and grab this sort of slimy creature and pull it off. It's almost like a, uh, um, almost like a leech, but with kind of vestigial looking arms and legs. Um, Am I able to, uh, let's say, can I attack it and then take the body upstairs? I'd like to dagger it. Yeah, you've you've got it in your hands. You can just stab it. Um, cool. So this little creature is what you pull off. Um, yeah. it is... Do I have any idea of what that is? Give me an Arcana check. All right. 
19. Oh, 19. Okay. Um, this is a tadpole of a species that you believe is called slod. Wonderbar. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, yes, uh, would I have an idea of what, why it would have bitten me? Um, like just out of, do I think it just bit me for the hell of it? Just because I came into its space? Um, it's possible that it's hungry. You do see the, there's a bit of a uh, trail of the um, brine from that jar to you. So it's possible that it was just hungry because it's been in this little jar for quite a while. I don't hear anything more inside that room. Uh, you do not. You do hear a little bit of dripping of water or something onto the floor, but that's about it. Could I open the door up a bit more just to take a quick, a better look at what's going on in there? Yeah. And a oh, better idea of what thing. exactly is happening. So you can open the door a bit more. You um, take a bit of a look in and see a bunch of hands and brains and heads, feet in jars. Um, one of them looks like a, um, a, a sort of an orb with a mouth and one eye uh, that's blinded. It's probably dead in there. It's got four little tentacles sticking off of it. It's about, you know, a small, like one of those kids' basketballs. It's about that size. Um, I'm going to slowly close the door. Okay. <laughs> you also see um, yeah. one of the jars that has a hand in it is shattered. The hand has been blown in half. And uh, you didn't quite see what else is on that table there. I didn't see any movement, though, from any of the other things. Um, the hands in each of the jars are twitching a little, almost like, yeah. you know, when a person dies, their body kind of twitches from the last remnants of electricity in their brain. Um, the hands are doing that, but they're not connected to anything. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that room for a little bit. Okay. There's and also then, a small uh, bearing in there with a five-foot light radius on it. Oh, yeah. What's that? I forgot about the ball bearing that you dropped in. So there was light in there. Okay. But I, I've got, I pretty much have the gist. I think I want to go back upstairs to talk to the guys. Okay. And then uh, you didn't I'll tell them exactly. complete your study here? You just want to go upstairs? I'll complete my study because I'm kind of one-minded in that so i'll okay. complete it then i'll go upstairs and i'll tell them hey uh i don't want to get uh kind of killed you guys want to come check this out because i know there's a couple guys that are pretty smart up there all right we could have a short rest of breakfast yeah that would be nice because i think i'm almost dead yeah so we go back to the other guys where you had just finished killing that mimic there is still breakfast except for what skamos kind of stepped on Yeah, I like back him off the fucking table. <laughs> hey, the chair's dead. Uh, oh, your screen's having a bit of a... Oh, is it? Sure. Yeah, what was interesting uh, about that too is that doesn't show up on the um, the YouTube vid. The screen flashing? No. Hmm. Just, uh, just have to Discord. Weird. Oh, good to know. So that we can just ignore it. Yeah. Um... Anyways, so probably that like once uh, once he hasn't come up and everyone's served and kind of like partially through their meal, at some point I would probably bring Corvin fucking some breakfast as well. Okay, try to find me. Hey? <laughs> just, yeah, that? just go downstairs and like go? figure out where he is and like bring him a plate of food and be like, eat. No, maybe <laughs> he's gonna say I don't know if any of you oh, guys your read your employment chair. contract, but I'm certain that this thing, this mimic creature probably will get us a substantial bounty with the university. Ooh. Of course, I don't know this. Yeah. 
I didn't read my contract. Uh, so <laughs> how heavy do I think this thing is now? If I kick at it. Oh, it's it's still heavy. It's probably 70, 80 kilos. Holy shit. That's it's huge. It's heavy. And it's like a lump, but trying to pick it up is like you're kicking it and it kind of lifts up and it's just like a glob of flesh. The weight is not fun to try and carry. Yeah. Think of uh, like trying to pick up a very well tenderized pork loin that's about um, four and a half, five feet wide. All you guys need is a tablecloth and you're set. Yeah, I was going to go to the uh, the homunculi and ask him if there was some sort of a tablecloth or blanket we could borrow. Um, Cumin says there are blankets in the uh, mistress's bedroom. Well, I suppose we'll have time to go back and get those and, and wrap up our uh, thing here. Right. Also, um, yeah. if I look at the silverware, is it silver? Um, let me check that. Um, I'm looking for middle level and dining room. Um, yeah, it's. It's silver silverware. I take oh, all of it yeah. after everyone's done. <laughs> uh, as, sorry, Ryan, I can't. Uh, Iggy, there we go. Um, does your character mention the bounties out loud, or is that just something you're thinking to yourself? No, no, I'll, I definitely mention that out loud. Okay. Um, well, off will, uh, I can, uh, can drag it to the door this could be good for some things to the front door yep hey what if we could just kind of position it into one of the empty chairs and then drag the chair that might be easier yeah it would almost be like um whatever do you call those you carry those people in or um uh, or like a doll or something yeah yeah okay i'll move that over there yeah, we'll uh, figure out a way to drag the body. I'll just, like, drag a body over to where we basically came in. Okay. Big lump of flesh. <laughs> All right. Are we going to eat it, or...? or... Bulamoff is, uh... He's the kind of character that, uh... He doesn't know why something would be useful. He just knows that it would be useful. He's not the smartest, but he is wise about... He has high wisdom. <laughs> okay. Street smarts. Pretty much. All right, so um, you guys are taking a short rest. Yeah, pretty please. <laughs> okay, we can. So uh, um, I can tell you that the berries are poisonous, but I can't tell you why. All right, so it is about three fifty for you guys then. Um, Golomov has gone down to, um, take some, uh, let me find, down one level. So would that mean, would I get a short rest as well? Um, because you're studying the, um, I wouldn't circle, say. you don't get a short rest, no. Yeah, fair enough. I am going to mention to to Gollum off, though, once he comes in, I'll be like, I didn't want to go in there by myself, but there's a bunch of crazy shit, and this thing attacked me from in the other room. But give me a minute. Oh. And then I'll keep finishing up my stuff. All right. You, I'll uh, probably like, I'll, flop like... I'll flop the tadpole at you and be like this guy. <laughs> uh, can I attempt to discern what it is? All right, yeah. I'll just tell you. I already know what it is. Yeah. Oh, you already know what it is. Okay. Yeah. I already forgot what it is myself. It's a, a slot tadpole. Slot, yeah. Uh, so 
A A D. Do they fall into the category of reasonably extinct? Um, they They're chaos are. Creatures. Um, they are rare because oh. they tend not to come to the material plane. They tend to stay in. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, in their home plane. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't need the. Uh, I was just. Yeah, I don't necessarily need the whole breakdown. I just need to know yeah. how common they are. Just, just cool. it. Just until I kind of get used to the feeling of of the world, right? Yep, they are. They're very rare in the uh, material plane. So, would is it reasonable that we would know much about it. them? You I'm sure we would have read a lot about them. Only if you've read a lot. Yeah. So. I don't know how to read. (laughs) Okay. I'll, um, so I'm going to poke my head into said door. Your golem off will poke his head into the door. Okay. Just, just on sheer curiosity because of what Corbett said. Just, it's like, you know, curiosity kills a cat. Yeah. So you look in and... I'm going to yell out and I'm going to be like, go all the way in there. You're, you're strong. Come on. Let me finish my work. (laughs) So you do see that hand, um, Iggy. Would you would you have said that it was a crawling claw that you shot? Um, I can't remember if I rolled on it or not. I just roll again. Yeah, might as well just roll. Ah, uh, ten. I don't know if I knew or not. No, you wouldn't have known. I told them I shot something. Yeah. Well, there's also the ball bearing with light down here, right? Yes. And you'd probably got the high enough yeah. wisdom to know that this would be directly below. Yeah. I saw him put the ball bearing with light down here, so yeah. I know that this is what. Although, uh, who knows where it bounced, though? Um, yeah. Well, if it kind of jars. landed in the area of the um, hand, it might have rolled under the far table, so. There's there's shadow up there. Uh, well, I want to like step into the room and like fully see what's in here. Okay. So, oh, is it messing things up? Yeah. The door is messing up your sight. There we go. So. So is that? Oh, this one's invisible. It should be there. So, as as soon as you get in the door, this hand jumps out and attacks you. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> would I would I hear this? Oh yes. Coming from the other room. Yeah, you you okay. hear it. Um, let me find the. Right would I be able one. to pause my studies again to go chase after? Yes. <laughs> go help him, man. Um, I'm gonna fuck. Come on! In that word. So, um, let's get some initiative. Oh, I forgot about music. Just want to bat it out of the air. Right, you just smash it. 13, okay, I get to go first. I get to go. Tw- I got twenty-three. Okay, <laughs> twenty-three and. Just um, on it. Okay. Wait, what do I have? Plus seven's thirteen. Yep, 13. Okay, so, Golomov, you're up first. This hand has, like, jumped Uh... up to the top of the jar and looks like it's about to attack. Probably scream a little bit. Right. Trump uh, a little? Uh, no, I'm just gonna shrink. I'm gonna like high five it violently. Your trunk? All right. <laughs> <laughs> way of the open it was your serious third leg. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, t- 25 to hit. Yes, that definitely hits. Hit. Uh, it takes five damage. It is dead. You, you shatter the so bones in it. 
The candy to right, the I look on guard. Does it appear that there are any <laughs> other hands <laughs> popping hand out? Right there. Yes, there are two others that look like they are ready. Do I need to move to hit those ones? Uh, yes, you will need to move five feet to hit the next one, okay. and then another five to hit the third one. Or ten, I will move and you'll in. be able to hit both. I will move into the first one and trunk punch it. Okay. My bonus action. I crit it. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> monster. I know, I know who I want to be behind in a fight. All right. Wrap on the knuckles. Double damage. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, it actually works. This, You're right? this thing explodes. Oh, yeah. It will. Takes a trunk punch and explodes. It took 14 damage. Yeah. That <laughs> veiny, throbbing trunk destroyed it. Yeah. Usually it's the other way around, right? Yeah. Hand is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that uh, one is dead. And then... I just mean mug the last one. Yeah. So, Corbin, you're next. I'll run in and see if I can throw my dagger at him. So I'll just run around the corner because I can imagine I get a clear sight, right? Uh, yeah, you've got a clear, clear uh, line of sight on it. My dagger can, I'm not sure, range 20 to 60 feet. Uh, yet yeah, you're within short range, so it's not a, not a disadvantage. You just okay. I will thing. throw my dagger at it. All, All right. fancy like. Fuck. Six to hit. <laughs> um, I believe that is a miss. Okay. Um, yes. So I'm, I'm sure my dagger goes flying, Your and I will run back flying. out the door. <laughs> I like, run back out the door with the rest of my, my you run out. movement. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Just like squint at him as he runs in the door, throws a dagger, misses, and runs away. I'm like. It's like a really weak dagger throw, too. Hey, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. What was that? Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Hit my so face. It's in my hair. It's in my hair. Run up. <laughs> Does the little um, thing running towards yep, you? Yep. And it is going to roll a. Oh, it's going to miss with that 12. Yep, it misses. Yep. Gonna get a firm grip on that trunk. <laughs> it's a little too girthy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, Golemon, you're up. I hope everybody enjoys this, because this is going to go on the whole uh, time. I'm going to proceed to punch this one as well. Alright. Yes, that's one. Was that another crit? Hold on. Yeah. Uh, you do a <laughs> this is like Babar beating the shit out of him, a bunch of crawling hands. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, oh, this time oh, it is shin bash, I guess, like the middle of the finger bash. Um, maximum damage. I'm pretty sure that kills it. Takes, yep. Uh, 2d4 plus 4. Oh, yeah. So 12 damage. Basically, like, just as it jumps towards me to, to attack me, I like backhand it into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Crutch. All right. <laughs> so that's that. Nothing else appears to be moving. Everything else is just floating in the brines that they're in. All right. I'll stay on edge, but I want to see what's in that big jar at the bottom. Okay. One that's in the green stuff. So I'll uh, I'll come up behind him, and I'm gonna put my arm on his shoulder and say. I'm pretty glad that I came in here to help you. I'm gonna go back to my study. Call me again and get your dagger. <laughs> yeah, and I'll pick up my just, dagger and walk up. <laughs> just not really acknowledge him. Just kind of nod. <laughs> All right. So, um, this thing in there, it's like I said, it's that round ball shape, got a mouth and eyes, uh, and four eye stalks. Mouth and a single eye in the center and four um, eye stalks it's got four eye stalks yep oh i know what that is did i happen Money. to look at that when i was walking past it Probably um, yes not. i, I did i did it. mention that you saw it when you first okay. looked in so would i know would i know what that is um can i give me another arcana oh i did horrible eight 
You've got no idea. I have. I just walk away. Yeah. Okay. Get back to my own thing. Shit. Um, I was gonna tell him. Yeah. I'll uh. Well, see the phone. It's not my area of expertise. Yeah. Pick it up. And uh, pick it so he, um, cause there's no. Yeah, no. I'm not going to. I'm going to uh. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go back up the stairs, um, and, uh, just let, um, the others just tap know on it. what was- Tap it up like a fish tank. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you yeah, know what, so. 100% he would do that. He would okay. use his trunk and be like, donk, 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 donk. <laughs> it is very obviously dead. All five of the eyes are milked over. Excellent. It's got a little tongue that's hanging out over sharp teeth. Yeah. It doesn't look like something's appetizing to eat. So. No, I'm uh, I'm I'm not too worried about eating it. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna leave it and uh, move on. Cause, right. um There is another door down here. One of the... Down the hall, or are you going back up? No, no, I'm going back up. Okay. It's only specifically because he mentioned the weird shit in that room that I went in there to look at it. Okay. <laughs> Level up. And we head back up. Um, so, you guys do your short rest. Um, who uh, healed up? Over breakfast, I'll. Uh, I healed up. I'll describe my, my uh, adventure. You're back on Max. <laughs> I, I probably, before I would have had him go back up as he's walking by, I think I would have just mentioned in uh the room that he came down the study i said check out that book that the cat was lying on just as a passing mention while i go back to my studies so i think there is a book under there's the cat, a book right? on the on the armchair yeah i said take I thought, a look at that book as you go up I thought um I is there a room not... down the hallway that we did not investigate uh, nope, there was a door at the end and in that library there was a door that went to likely the same place and then there's a door at the end here as well that i think golomov opened up going out into this garden here yeah no no, no, no. i'm sorry i was talking about the book that the cat was laying on yep um i was just answering yeah i thought lilith okay lilith didn't know nobody uh nobody checked that book lilith just talked to the cat all right oh i thought she picked it up so... okay um well Either way, um, I'll uh, just come back into. Yeah, I'm just gonna come back into the room and tell the tale of there was hands, and they jumped at me. And they get a little. Now they're dead. <laughs> you get a little, a little touchy. A little touchy feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask what else uh, was in my. There's this weird, eye-eyed, dead thing. Had a funky tongue. If he describes it to me, can I make an arcana check on the eyed creature? Yeah. If you're remember, if you're proficient, you don't have to roll. You get your. Um, oh right. I, but you you rolled already, so oh, we'll go with that eighteen. One better. <laughs> oh, damn it! I'm proficient on arcana too. How does that work with your if you're so if you're a, proficient, you just add ten whatever? to your bonus. So if you've got a plus five, then you have fifteen passive. Oh, so I'd have, I would have had fourteen passive then on my arcana. Yeah, you have oh, minimum fourteen that. on arcana unless you want to roll. Is it a uh, is it, is it a goth okay, like a, a little lesser beholder? Um, it is a leather lesser beholder. It's a um, gazer. Um, Liquefied you know gazer. Um, some um, uh, they aren't exactly rare because some wizards like to summon them as familiars. Do I think it'd be worth any money? Um. Possibly, because it's not often that there are gazers around that aren't familiars, and if a familiar dies, it goes back to its home plane. Well, plus it's just a familiar. They're actually face spirits. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. I'm going to say we should collect that, too. We might make some money off of it twice. Also, uh, um, I'm going to ask the, uh, the 
the two little constructs, um, if there's any more silverware. If there's any more what? If there's any more silverware. Oh, silverware? Silverware. No, no, the, the, the lady never had many guests, so that's all we had. All right, thank you. All right. Did we happen to explore her bedroom or anything? Um, Skamos did. Her, her underwear drawer. Oh. <laughs> of course, Skamos would have. You know what? Yeah, there's there's fifty bucks fine. in there for yeah, sure. Fine, you know, that's worth a bit of money. <laughs> What's it worth money in her underwear drawer? Maybe she has fine clothes in there. <laughs> like <laughs> belts and, and velour. I don't know. So, See, that hustling game, man. That hustling game. I don't know. Golem, when really you were coming up the stairs, did you grab that book off the armchair? Uh, okay. if it's on the way, yeah, I'll grab yeah. it. Yeah. You you walk right past it to get to the door out of the study. Um, it does have a golden letter on the spine. The name is the Flari Incunabulum, um, and the golden letter is an I. Right. So how we uh, figure out a way to get out of this shit? For me, so I can copy and paste the name. Golden letter. <laughs> um, I'll copy it into the general chat. Or I guess the handouts. That's probably a better place. Either way. This one we go. Speaking of handouts, you could pick up a Heart of Cold by Adventurer Games Five E Adventure with a twenty percent off coupon code Cold Hearted on AdventureGames.com. Evan Tier, yes. <laughs> Evan Tier, ah, I said it wrong. Yep. Tier. <laughs> Let me say one more time. Oh God, please no. <laughs> super, that will never super do. nice guy. I asked him if we could use his maps and his uh, um, DM guide, and he was like, "Hell yeah!" Also, here's something to give your watchers. So. Here you go. Yeah. If I can say it right next Ooh. time. I will, yeah. but I probably yeah. won't. Uh... So don't hold your breath. <laughs> Evan, to your game. It's all right. It's all right. We'll practice on our own time. I'll have you just sound it out to me. And I'll just <laughs> oh, so this, so I'll, I'll be teaching you how to read, and you'll be teaching me how to read. I don't think it's going to work <laughs> we'll teach very each well. Other how to read. <laughs> I'll, uh, That's why you teach these guys, because you can't to, read. <laughs> uh, probably Iggy. Um, book to Iggy. It sounds different in my head. Um... Huh? <laughs> I am not much yeah. of a book. Mom. Water. You, uh, <laughs> Corbin said it was important. That's what it was. All right. It probably looks like the same book that I have. Right? It looks fairly similar, yeah. Um, in in that it's got the gold letter. Um, Skamos also shows you that he's got one with a gold letter. You currently have I E R. These books sound uh, important. Sounds like they're I the answer to a puzzle in that case is there any areas of this place we have not explored yet upstairs uh, and that one room downstairs all right so since um i got messed up in the library because i don't know how to read i suggest that we all make our way upstairs together the, the dining okay. here. uh one moment um does anybody know anything about plants when i look on the outside there oh um they're they're all like regular looking shrubs. Oh, so no specialized components or anything? Nothing looks special. Not special no. shrubs, are they? <laughs> no. Nope. Fancy they're not, shrubs. They're not awakened, are they? They don't appear to be. Oh. Two of them do occasionally kind of um, flutter as though there's wind, but there's no wind out there that you can see. Just the ever-present purple fog. Okay, how about we don't go out there? The fluttering. I don't know. Um, <laughs> They're not the kind of bushes a, we want to be a part of. It's about now that you've finished well, you your want a part uh, of study. Get in there. Find out what's going on. And... Severin only likes two kinds of bushes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Corbin, you learn about the circle that it is a summoning circle. Um, that closet that was summoned is a, um, a creature of the abyss which you know it's illegal to summon those 
Um, but it was hiding in that room for some reason, and this looks like it was a part of the mansion. It's not something that the sage put in. You can you can tell that for sure because it's like uh, there's one silver ring and one gold ring that are set into the floor, plus the uh, black outline with the runes. Cool. So I'm all done with that then, eh? Yep, you're all done with that. Okay, I'll probably make my way up and I'll okay. I'll tell all the guys what I came across here. And like I'll say that it's a summoning circle, they summon something from the abyss, which is legal. Uh, the summoning circle is part of the mansion. And then I hold up my little uh, slot tadpole and say, this bad boy bit me. All right. Uh, I have um, actually have medicine as a uh, uh, skill. Can I determine whether or not he would be, would have been diseased with that bite? Um. So what you can tell? Oh, I forgot to I'll make give you the fourteen slot. invisible. Um, we'll tell you some of my symptoms. I feel kind. Of, you know, I'm hungry. I'm kind of uh, irritable. You know. I'll just take the thirteen on it for uh, proficiency. Um, so, with a 13, you don't believe there's any disease. Um, and you said 17 you is your, um, chocolate. Arcana? You do know that some slod, specifically the red slod, and this is a red tadpole, will lay eggs in the, uh, in creatures that they damage. And this one bit him. There's a chance that he's got an egg in him. Even tadpoles can lay the eggs. Right. Hey, you might have parasites. <laughs> what? And you're going to be a daddy. <laughs> so let me just go. Uh, since he says that, would I have my, any of my history or arcana to know exactly what's going to... Like if I... Am I gonna be pregnant, or how that would work about? You know, like. Um. So, with your arcana, you can think back. You think that you should check out a book in the library with your history. You know that you should find okay. a book in the Baldur's Gate library. It's probably going to be in the sci-fi and fantasy section because people aren't going to assume that they're real even though it's known that they exist the common folk don't don't think so because right. they've never so seen one well, I'm probably gonna think about it my face is gonna go a little pale thinking about what we, uh, might be we happening could, we could take your uh, leg off below the knee that would probably <laughs> yeah we probably should here Greg get up on the table and I'll pull up my sword uh, make this quick uh, and easy Strengthen himself. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, again, I'm going to barrel roll out the door to get away from these guys. <laughs> Fuck off. Hey, 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 come back. We got, we got to take that one off. Would we be able to see the egg? Um, no, you wouldn't be able to see the eggs. If they lay the egg, they, would be, they would be tiny. Is that plural or, or a singular? You're not sure? You'd have to find that book. Page. Do I think they're in the bloodstream, or do I think they'd be deposited in the flesh? I'm sorry? Would they be in the bloodstream uh, stream or deposited in the flesh? Um, you think it would probably be in the bloodstream? It might be in the flesh. Um, you're not 100% sure. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Iggy, I got this. So I'm going to go into the kitchen. And I'm gonna grab a bottle and just put random things into it with liquids. Just random. Anything I can grab off the counter. Okay. Okay. You get oil and, and, and be like, vinegar and. And then I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna get this container with all the stuff in it. I'm gonna put a hand on my shoulder and be like, look, I'm a man of God. I'm gonna be like, hey, 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 hey I'm, a, I'm a paladin, I'm a man of God, and this will help you with your ailment, trust me. And I'll have the jar. I'm gonna tell you. 
That's fine, you're a man of God. I don't need you to push any religion on me. I'm a man of science, so you can go fly a kite. Hey, 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 hey. Get, get, get <laughs> the well, fuck away from me. Let's go kill you. Just take a second. Speaking yeah. of being a man of God, perhaps your uh, laying on hand ability could help out with diseases or something. Oh, you think I'm going to waste that? I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, so I did to this Drake, though. I, I laid on hand on it, so it's good. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. and again, <laughs> I'm not I'm not a stupid man. I'm a very book learning man. So I'm not know. the one that has eggs in me, just saying. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, at least some of us get laid, right? <laughs> not. What are you again? I'm going to look at you again. He's a oh. half-orc. Oh, you're a half-orc. Yeah. Try not to be, you know, judgmental, but you are a half-orc, so... And I walk away. <laughs> Can't hear Foster. Uh, some boy. things die. Some things don't, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Well, no. anyway, let's go upstairs, I guess. Go, go find these other... I'm sure there's other books we can create some sort of... Way out of here. I, I know there's a... a, a the doors I'd like open to ask off if you'd come downstairs with me. Do I remember which one of the bushes was uh, rustling? Uh, yes, you do remember the two bushes that were rustling. All right, I peek around the corner and I pull out my little clockwork dragon and I fire a firebolt at the closest one. Okay. Like one of the moving ones. All right. So you head over there and do that. Um, roll me... Um, attack roll with disadvantage. All right, one second. Do you, uh, oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. 15. 15? Um, that's a hit. Three fire damage. All right. You hear a little screech and then a tiny orange um, dragon with butterfly wings flies out of the bush and just, you know, pieces out. Oh, do I know what that is? Um, yeah, they're... Well, pseudo-dragons, you don't know, no pseudo-dragons, right? Uh, pseudo-dragons, and this one specifically is a fairy dragon. I feel bad now. <laughs> I, you know, the... I'm sorry. You should feel bad. <laughs> I'm just, like, right behind you. Just You should feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Just I'm because sorry. you can doesn't mean you should. I thought it was going to be like that fucking set of books that attacked us. <laughs> yeah, but you got to remember the books attacked first. I'll talk to the uh, human and whatever the other spice guy were, and yeah. I'll ask them to uh, put some food out for the fairy dragons as an apology for me. Okay. Uh, you remember what? now that Lilith said that the uh, um, that one of the lizards got eaten by the chair. And that's what she was talking about, a fairy dragon? That's what the cat oh, yeah. was talking about, yeah. What is a fairy it's dragon? It's a... It's a dragon that's a fairy. It's a small dragon that has fair, um, has butterfly wings. Are they, like, super rare to you, or are um, they just something they're like the a butterfly? The orange ones are not very rare. They're very young. Um... You do know that they, like other dragons, have a breath weapon, but theirs is purely defense. It doesn't hurt you. It just gives you a short-term euphoria so that you're incapacitated for long enough for it to get away. They they yeah. will bite if they have to, but it's like a oh, cat bite. Right. They're, they're not yeah. strong. Yeah. It didn't really show up very good. That was pretty awesome. Let's actually do this, and then I will zoom in on that. Um, or I'll just make a big.
bigger for you to see. They are they are tiny, so they're about the size of a cat. Even the oldest ones are. It's you know, it's killing with fire. <laughs> Would I be able to go into the other room? Or I guess I need to be within ten feet to to talk to one of these things. Would I if I tell if I'm am I smart enough to know if I use my telepathy on it to talk to it? Would it be able to uh, talk back? I thought or it was going to make humanoids for you. Yeah, they oh, are intelligent. I think it's only humanoids for you though. I could be wrong. Uh, you can, you can speak telepathically to, no, to any creature you can see within creature. 10 feet. Um, you don't need you to share a language to, to see it. Ah, I can see, okay, yeah. yeah. And they can go invisible. Um, they can become invisible with. Uh, at, um, sorry, at my brain's will, not eh? working. At will. They they don't well, have to is... cast it as a spell. They just go invisible. Okay, well, I'll just ignore it then. I'm just gonna go upstairs. I'm just gonna heading up there, looking yeah. for these goddamn books. Yeah, I'll follow along. Does anybody oh, actually, want to come you... downstairs to that room with me? Actually, yeah. Room, okay. You need to oh, drink uh, the healing beverage. I ain't going downstairs with you. I'll, I'll say, what's going on to that room, and just drag out anything I think it's worth money. I'll go uh, downstairs. Yeah, I'm sure if somebody would pay for all those jar specimens. You two gotta oh, go still, downstairs check it out. and the other two up. All right, let's split the party. I'll, let's all go uh, down just downstairs. Do we can get attacked later. Well, we can right? go downstairs after. Let's go upstairs. Okay, upstairs fair first. enough. I will. Get, I will go upstairs with you guys. Hey, Severin. Or Mr. Devos. What? Did I pronounce that right? Yep. I said, lead the way, Sir Devos. I am Whip in it. the way. Jesus. Whip it good. Do you have tusks or uh, no tusks? I have tusks. I didn't go into like like any detail what it looks like, but I, I feel like if you're an arc, yeah. Even if half, you have tusks. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you whether you do anything with them, like, uh, um, what's his name? Ford from, uh, Critical Role. I look down. Two. Yeah. But, I mean, half orcs are gold pretty ring common. Even orcs are pretty common in civilized society. Nobody really bats an eye at them having, um, them having bigger tusks than a half work anymore they you know all right it's savages yeah. no more yeah they got tusks he has tusks i'm not sure to what degree but i'm assuming like it's probably just it's just there just chilling yeah i need to come up with a better visual description um, i think the picture i have for him on D D beyond is pretty accurate for tusks oh yeah but, like they're not super huge but they're there Oh yeah, those little ones that kind All of. All right. All right. So we're at the top of the stairs now. Have we investigated none of these rooms yet? Um. Right. So the one on the end, Skimosto tells you he's staying downstairs with Lilith. He tells you that he went into the bedroom. He looked into the trophy room, but didn't go in. Um. He did see a book, but he decided not to go in. He decided to go down to back to Golomov. And he didn't what check a princess! Let's go to the trophy room. All right. I want to investigate the suit of armor. Okay. Um, are you rolling, or is investigation your one of your watch McCollum? Yeah, but I like to roll. Okay. I want to see if it's uh, in any way magical or animated, or okay. just uh, what kind of quality it is. All right. Twelve. Twelve. Doesn't seem magical. It. It's just a normal looking uh, suit of armor. Uh, it is full plate, so it would be expensive, um, but it would also be difficult to get out. And it's possible that it's wired together since it's standing up. 
You know what? Can I tell you? Tell me it's right. full plate. I might come back and look at it. I'm like, whoa, 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 full plate. Can what, you fit me? Yeah, I can wear. If full only I had my tinkering. If only I took my tinkering tools with me, I could have snipped all those wires. I, I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna see how hard would it would it even fit me. Number one, and number two. How hard would it be to disassemble and then put like where? Um. So you know your way around armor. Um, Iggy is still pretty uh, new to his stuff, but you're you know armor because you gotta wear armor. The armor itself is just decorative. There's like it would not protect oh. you. Um, oh, it's real you, thin. Like this stuff wouldn't protect yeah. me against even. The yeah. dullest of arrow shots. It's it's like it's made Eventually out of decorative uh, garbage. Pop can thick aluminum, basically. Uh, Paper mache. The uh, yeah. the helmet and the sword though are genuine and they look like they're quality. Whoa! Look at this. This sword and helmet look pretty decent. Anyone? You know what? I'm just gonna take this helmet off your guys' hands. I'll just That's take the. <laughs> What kind of sword is it? Long sword. Is it a nice oh, long sword or is it just like a plain Jane? Plain Jane. Walmart brand. Yeah. It's quality, but it's it's just normal. Princess sword. Auto brand? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but for the help it... Princess Auto quality. <laughs> Maybe Canadian tire. No, still. Oh, okay. Lifetime warranty. <laughs> So, um, so since in this campaign how we're running it, will the helmet provide me so any? Is it just purely like um, visual, or will it actually provide me some sort of like stat of any kind? So a helmet would be part of a set of plate armor, so it would give you a discount on the actual full. If suit I were to buy a regular or half plate, okay. Okay, if everyone's okay, I'm gonna take the helmet though. If it fits me. Yeah, it'll fit you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this into my uh, stuff then. Okay. You kind Where of. Where's my stuff? You don't have to pull very hard to get the wires out of the decorative bit of the suit, and then you think you could easily later snip those wires out. Iggy definitely could. And I just write my own custom item into this, do, or do I have to pick one? Uh, no, you can do custom items. items. Um, it is okay. Yeah, yeah, I can edit. There we go. Um, so, uh, well, I'm gonna take the long sword if nobody wants it. It'll still sell for something. Yeah. Oh my god, it's not letting me do shit here. <laughs> so, Alright, well then let's continue into the room. Okay. So, you head in, you see a wyvern head. Um, what exactly does it say? Um, each corner has a scarlet armchair and a reading table piled high with books. A cheery fire burns in the fireplace. It doesn't give off any heat when you get up close to it, but... It's giving some nice light and ambiance. Um, a pair of swords sit in a rack above the fireplace, and the heads of various animals are mounted on the walls. Uh, so there's a stag, a wolf, a periton, a hellhound, and a black dragon wormling. Ooh. And do I, um, out of all these things, do I think that these heads would be worth anything to anybody, or are they purely just decoration? Um, they are basically decoration. Um, the right kind of hunter who wants to, um, you know, show off but not actually do the work would probably pay for it. But that's about it. Yeah, I don't feel like I want to spend the time to figure that out. Um, so, I, will, sorry, I will investigate the heads to see if anybody's hidden anything in them. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. Um, what, also, with the books on the tables, is there something on each table that is oh. worth looking at? Or is there kind of like, oh, it looks like just like a couple magazines tell Wizard Weekly, and then there's this one important one there. That's basically it. Right. Yeah. A big okay. old 12. Big old 12. Wizard well, Weekly. They, you, you familiar see, tomorrow. Uh, you don't see anything in any of the trophies, no. Could I uh, oh, check my. out the fireplace with the swords? Yeah. Lomoff yeah. will shake his head at the. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word for it, but I can't think of the word for it. Uh, oh, um, over overindulgence of the room, <laughs> as he is a very simple man or simple elephant folk, uh, and will just walk down the hallway. You just walk down. down. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna walk down the hallway just to <laughs> open up the. Easy to be a simple man when you got three legs. So you go in left to right. <laughs> Right uh, is the um, uh, bedroom, and left is the uh, area that hasn't been looked at yet. I'm gonna go to the left wherever we haven't gone yet. Can I explore uh, or investigate for the secret doors? Like, I want to know if I pull on like horns or anything, or if uh, something will open up. You should just pull on it anyway and see what happens. Yeah, I also too just start like. pulling on the random heads just for shits and giggles. What happens if I put my hand into the wormling's mouth and just like fucking jiggle it around? You jiggle it around and then the swords jump out of the um, thing that's holding them. I had a feeling that, that was going to happen. I activated it! There was a secret in here, guys! Let's get everyone else's. I got a 10, Eight, 10 for my initiative. Seven, uh, 19. 19 for Iggy. And Golomov and Corbin. I got 11. 17. Okay, so we are starting with Iggy. Um, how far away are the swords? Uh, they're about 10 feet away from you. All right, I'll run into the corner uh, and stand on the uh, uh, love seat, I guess. Okay. The one without the head on it. And then I will pull up my clockwork dragon, pull the tail, and fire a fireball at the sword. All right. Twenty-four. Twenty-four is definitely a hit. Uh, or fire damage. All right. Uh, they are not immune or resistant, so four damage. All right. And then we've got. Corbin next. You are right next to these swords because you were investigating. Yeah, so I can't move. Would I be able to uh, do the thunder wave kind of into the wall with them? Um, so I'm not yeah. going to hit anybody else? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do a thunder wave into the wall. All I'll right. smash them with that. So that's a con save of 14. Con save of 14. Do I have to make that roll too? Um, trying no, to put it in he front. Can, he can angle it so that it doesn't hit you. Um, oh, am I thinking of Thunderclap? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I think so, yeah. The so... Thunder Wave is a 15 uh, foot cube. It does say that you can actually angle it or uh, aim it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, both fail quite miserably. Great. All right, let's see what we get. Nine. Nine um, points of damage for each of them. All right. Nine. They are also not going to take less from that. Um, they are both pretty battered. Um, and let's see. You completely destroy 
this chair, you turn it into just absolute um, flinders, and you destroy that Periton uh, trophy as well. Uh, what's what's the size of the uh, Thunder Wave cube? Uh, it is 15 foot cube. 15? Okay, you do the same yeah. on this side. Okay, so um, it is their turn, and they've got two people in front of them, so they are both going to attack. So to Corbin, that is an 18 to hit. That hits. Four. Oof. Nine points of damage. Oh, I'm down. Oh, shit. It, it slashes you. It does one of those ones from your belly button up to your nose. And then again. Got like a fish. <laughs> Against Severin, um, that is a nine to hit. Does not hit. Okay. Um, and then next is Golomov. You hear some stuff going on. Uh, Golomov is going to shrug and open the door in front of him because. Okay. He, he was in a room downstairs and destroyed three hands pretty easily, so he's not too worried about three people being in the same room. All right. That, that's fair. Ah, there's nothing that they can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You open up the next door into what looks like a laboratory. Um... Most of this room is taken up by long wooden tables that are covered with glass vessels and books. Cabinets with glass doors line the walls and they contain all manner of specimens. Uh, just below the ceiling in the middle of the room, colorful globes circle each other in an intricate dance. The far wall is almost completely covered by a map of the night sky with a golden sunburst in the center above a closed door. Alright, uh, I would like to go and investigate the star map. Okay. But you, we can we can finish the combat first if you, if you guys want to go ahead and do that. Sure thing. Well, it's going to take you um, almost your full turn to get there, so you're not going to... You can get your investigation started, um, but we'll go back to the combat. Uh, it's this one. No, it's this one. All right, so Severin. I'm gonna swing my sword at one of those. All right. Let's do this. 14. 14 is a miss. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Rut row. Um, Call him up! I'll yell his name. Alright. Oh god. And back to Iggy. Hmm, <laughs> the tough one. <laughs> Do I abandon them now or later? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull out my little clockwork gnome. Uh and uh I'll cast Sanctuary on the the dying uh Corbin. Okay. With my bonus action. Then I'll come forward. Um, and hmm, I don't want to do this. I might kill him. Um, I'll, I will try to stabilize him with the medicine check. Okay. It doesn't spare that I do that. No, I well, just want to hear you. it's sanctuary. Oh. We'll uh, stabilize him, yeah. Great. 
Alright, so then we go to Corbin. You don't need to roll anything, you're just at zero. So no All right. uh, things for you, as long Sanctuary. As they don't attack me. Nothing will attack you, I believe. What Sanctuary do? They have to choose a different target. If they try to attack them, they have to do a DC wisdom save. Otherwise, the attacker's wasted or they're forced to choose another target. Okay, so on a one, they are forced to seek another target. So both of them are going for Severn. God darn it. Gosh darn it there. Uh, so 14 to hit? Nope. And 22 to hit. Okay, that one hit. And that is going to be a four damage. Okay. Next Ouch. is Golomov. You heard a shout for you. I will sigh. I'll look at the thing. I'll be back. And uh, run back to the other room. Okay. Right. Um, I don't think I have any additional movement at this point in time yet. See that we don't have like an interactive thing where we could all access the tokens. Yeah, that's something that they're planning for later this year, I believe, but it might be uh, later than that. Um, that's fair. Yeah, they went through a full redesign over the last like four or five months, so everything's much prettier, prettier on my end. Um, yeah. Um, uh. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I, I have enough. How no. far? How close? How far was it? And is that the furthest I can move uh, with? That is 30. fifty feet. So you've got okay. another two, I believe, or another ten. Uh, it, well, if if I can stand where underneath the heads, I will. Yep. Or where that uh, that book is, I guess now, because all that furniture was destroyed. Five, ten. We'll get you to the book. You can probably. You'd probably, like, shove it over as you get there. The stand gets knocked over. And and as my bonus action, I'm going to trunk punch one of the swords. Okay, you can do that. I'll never get sick of trunk punching. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss, though. Uh, yeah, nine to hit. Nine is a miss. <laughs> so, Severin, you're up. All right, I'm going to swing and hit again. Try to hit. Good numbers, good vibes only. 15. 15 is not enough. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. They are small swords. Um, so. Forget these swords, y'all. Iggy, you're up. Oh, I keep forgetting to switch the game. I'll try another. Uh, I'll try another firebolt with my uh, clockwork dragon. I'll pull the tail. All right. I'll be at twelve. Twelve is a miss. Corbin is fine. So, um, let's make another wisdom save. The fifteen. Yeah, DC 15. Okay. So it's going to swing down at Corbin. Wonderful. Which has advantage. This is prone. Uh, 15. 15 hits. All right. So you take one failed death save, and you are. Oh no, technically it's a crit, isn't it? Is that sanctuary on him though, or is that only with one turn? It passed the save. It passed the save, yeah. Do we have a rules lawyer here? Is it a crit when it hits? Yeah. Yeah, if we were. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's two death saves. Yeah. So you lose two death saves. <laughs> All right. Dying in the prologue. Yeah. Oh, I wonder whose fault that is. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you Who almost killed in front of the it with two that thunder wave. If you had second level spells, you would have killed with that one. Um, and the 
the other one goes for Severn for a 17 to hit. Nope. All right. That's a no Perino, sir. Good, sir. So, Golomov, you're up. Okay, now let's punch it. All right. Did he not just do his turn? Or am I crazy? Um, He just trunk punched something. Yeah. I came into the room, and then the then swords went. Or I came into the room, and then the swords went. Iggy missed. You missed. Corbin oh, okay. Doesn't Sorry, act. my bad. Yeah. I got confused. And I missed. Uh, with my first <laughs> I rolled another three. Another. Um, okay. And How about a sixteen to hit? Sixteen is just a miss. <laughs> this bullshit. Well, yeah. How are we so? Severin. All right. Well, what about Iggy? Iggy's next. Okay. All right. I'm going to use. I'm going to use one point of my lay on hands to bring back Diptard on the ground. All right. All right, Corby, you idiot, get up. I might want to drop a bit more. You get one hit point. Death. All right. Death saves don't reset. Yep. So I still have two death saves, eh? Yep. Or two failures. Yep. So once they Wait, hit me what? again. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, they don't reset anymore. No, they don't reset. I suggest you run it. for it, Corban. Fair enough. So I get one hit point? You got one hit yeah. point. Yeah. All right. Is that your action? And run. Yes, that's my action. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. So, Iggy, you're up. I'll just try another blast. Hopefully I'll hit. Hopefully. 23. That's a hit. Not a crit, right? No, not a crit. Okay. Eight fire damage. Eight. All right. Are you shooting the one over Corbin or the one trying to get Severn? I'll do the one trying to kill my uh, associate. Okay. They're both trying to kill us. <laughs> well, the one that's oh, almost God. dead. <laughs> oh, you mean the one that doesn't really matter? Oh, yeah. So you handily destroy that one. It, like, melts part of the blade and it just drops to the floor. Um, and then Corbin... Um, I don't have to disengage? You will, because the other one is still right next to you. Alright, I'm going to disengage and get the fuck out. Okay. You're doing a sweet roll, because you're still prone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm more, yeah, I'm just kind of rolling across the floor and you just kind of jump over me and I'm rolling away. Well, like it's more like he's crawling and screaming at the same time. <laughs> Lady screams. Ah! Ah! You've got some of my shirt oh, stuffed no. into your chest and you're gaping low. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then a 10 is going to miss Severin. So, oh, That's I right. Slap that shit away. Um, Golomov, you're up. Like to punch something this time and roll above a ten. Punch. Oh. Okay, there we go. Twenty-two hit. That hits. Right. Nice. Oof. Uh, eight damage. All right. I love how you're punching your sword. Oh. That snaps that sword in half. Like nice. an open palm strike right to the center of the blade. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, um, how nice were these yeah, swords before they got fucked up? Um, they looked decent. All right. I pull out my uh, little hammer. <laughs> it's uh, it's got like a little gearbox on it, and then I go to the one that was snapped in half. And I click the button on the hammer, and it starts like automatic hammering, like from the Simpsons. <laughs> and I start casting one on the bo- uh, broken blade. Okay. To see if I can salvage it. All right, you. Oh, just s- they're hammering, uh, hammering the blade right now. For a minute. <laughs> All right. So, well, if you'll excuse me, I have some stars calling my name, and I would like to walk back to the, the constellation thing. Okay. 
So you head back. Oh, I guess I can just... Can we check out that book on the table now that we came in here for before yeah. we decided to start dying? You can. Why, but I got a this... rough day for you, bud, Corbin. What's that? Fuck me. This is a that's a little little it's... rough. The beginning of the day. You might want to go that's down right. and see uh, Lilith. I think maybe she'll be able to give you some healing. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to drag myself down the stairs while calling for Lilith for some help. <laughs> Literally drag uh... himself down the stairs. He just he just like crawls down them, screaming like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, looks like she took the only word. Okay. Um, she shouldn't have any it? spells cast. Uh, she shouldn't have any spells cast because I think she only. Uh, yeah, she cast those rules. All right. Um, I guess we'll roll a d4 for her. Plus four, I think. Okay. Oh, five hit points. Five hit points? That's good enough for me. He's higher than he was when he started the... when we started this more, uh, earlier. Right? Yeah. I think, uh, after I really I check out this book, up. I think we might need to take a long rest. Alright. Now why'd you do that? You seem to be trying to jump feet first into everything right now. <laughs> I'm not the one that just about died. This is, more, this is more for you than for me, my friend. This is kind of strange I how I was just standing there and you I only got one handy handy left here, man. I only got one hand left. It's not going to last if you die again. Yeah, since they're arguing for at least a minute, am I able to I'm repair I'm not I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm with yes, well, I'm arguing with somebody. <laughs> Don't you fucking worry. What would I put it under? Um, It is a long sword. Another long sword? Is this one a little bit nicer, like sail wise? Um, not particularly. The other one is better for sail because it's it was sitting there and wasn't used. This one, even though you mended it, it's still it's still a used sword. It, it's pretty obvious. Um, Ow. so I have a question. Yeah. Because Golomov is not very smart, but he has he is very insightful. Mm -hmm. Can he attempt to ins use some insight to make some connections with the current constellations he's looking at? Yeah. Instead of um, investigation. I would say yes. Um, Perfect. So, uh, first, um, Severn was picking up the book. Um, it got knocked on the floor, but you pick it up. It is Yellen's Compendium of Psychic Manifestation. The uh, gold letter is a Y. Why? B. We have all the books written down somewhere. All the letters are Y I E R, right? Yep. Um, so, uh, what is your um, um, insight? Uh, I am proficient and I have plus five. Okay, 15. Um, you spot most of the stars are just dots or little circles, but five of them are blazing silver suns. Same size, but they're very obvious, obviously different than the rest. Do they look like buttons? Um, they do not. It's, uh, it's kind of a painting and it's just silver paint instead of white. Um, right, and then you said the center, there was like a glowing... Uh, the center one orbit. is a, um, golden sunburst. Does there seem to be any, like, rays 
from the sun pointing specifically to the the suns? Nope. Uh, right. Yeah. Mm. Stare at it and sit here okay. for a while. There's a door right in front of you as well. <laughs> you oh, can there's call a door for somebody there. to yep. come in. Oh. Oh, there's a door here too. Yep. Right in front of you, I guess. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I want the door then. Okay. You. Open I didn't realize. I thought it was just. I thought the whole wall was like the mural of the the, the painting. Nope. The uh, it is mostly the whole wall, but um, it kind of goes around the door. Oh. Um, okay. And you open it, and you see. Um, Nighttime field. I'm like, I'm not that confused or concerned about it, considering that we're already in a pocket dimension. Uh, I see those little, like the little machines or the little things that are out there. Yep. I want to walk out and inspect the uh, the big brown brass one. walk in and it is literally even though walls on this side don't exist the door is just sitting in a uh, just a, an endless field there's a nice breeze that you feel that's kind of moving the grass as you see there um, so this um is a one foot diameter sphere of clear crystal in a brass stand. Um, there are around it five telescopes mounted on uh, bronze plates. Um, and let's see. Um, the sky above is just very sharply in focus and it is the night sky with stars and all look for what's drawn on that painting yeah before i'm not gonna i'm like i'm gonna stop what i'm doing i'm like mm, it's more than a one-man job <laughs> uh and i'm gonna go back and um probably grab Iggy because these devi these are devices that seem more um, possibly technological in nature. Okay. Could I, uh, while we go in there, could I also explore the potions room there? Yeah. Since I got that herbalism kit, is there any fancy potions that I might recognize? Alright. I'm just going to move everyone. Alright. Yeah, I'll take a quick quick uh, glance to see if I see any components that'd be worth taking. All right, move Severn in there as well. So, um, in there, um, so there's skulls, bones, mounted animals, rocks, and minerals dried plants and jars with creatures floating in liquid, measuring devices, glassware, scientific apparatus, um, books on natural sciences, astronomy, astrology, phys um, physiology, and natural philosophy. Um, there's a mobile blackboard covered in complex charts and mathematical formulas. Um, doesn't seem to be any... Um, well, there are a few useful herbs that you could use in, because the herbalism kit lets you make um, healing potions, right? That's the one yeah. that lets you do that. There are some po uh, some herbs that could be used in that, but that's the only useful component that you can really see. Um, you also do see another one of those books with the golden letters. Nice. While they're checking that out, can I investigate that, um, I guess the painting? The two paintings? Or one painting? 
uh, one painting. The other one is yeah. <laughs> one in the middle of the uh, room. There is um, there's obviously a layering issue. That one's from downstairs. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So could I investigate those? The ones with the star bursts, I guess. On them, right? Okay. So yeah, you can yeah, to... you can investigate that. Um, I've got a... The door opens out, right? Yeah, it opens up. Okay, learning from our first so, experience of the door closing on us, I take one of my daggers and I make sure it's stuck in the ground to keep the door from slamming on us. Okay. It's probably yeah. a good idea. You, uh, you slam it into the ground and you feel it going into wood. Can I peel it up? Is it like a layer of dirt and grass on wood? Uh, no, it appears to be an illusion. Even though you can feel the the breeze and you can feel when you step on the grass it's springy nice like thick lush grass you stick that uh, dagger in and there's nothing there except the wood floor beneath i see this is an illusion uh, um one of the other sorry. Things, sorry. sorry go ahead i was say uh when i look up does the sky look like the painting sky? Yes. Right. And this is where uh, I'm, I go to Nitigi. Okay, here's the plan. Something with these crys this, th this crystal thing here. You point the things at it, and it matches the stars on the painting. Oh, reasonable. If I check the uh, equation, is there any, um, using my big brain, is there any clues on that? Um, the equation in the other room on the blackboard. Yeah, the big, yeah, the big equation board. Like, um, can I decipher what the that is? It is not about this. It's kind of uh, it's equations and mathematics for the magic to make extra dimensional spaces. Um, like this mansion, it's not to do with the stars or anything. So, is that the beginnings of a spell then? Um, it seems to be. Probably is the spell. Um, you'd say it's probably more like a way to scientifically reproduce this spell without being able to cast magic. Whoa, that sounds like that'd be worth a lot of money. All right, I relay this information to the rest of the group. And you say this thing's portable? It is a portable uh, blackboard. It doesn't appear to be nope. the formula um, and whatnot doesn't appear to be finished. It's like they were trying to figure it out and hadn't gotten the, uh, the right answer yet. If you guys want, I do have a pen and paper. I can just copy it down and then we don't have to take the blackboard with us. No, let's take the whole blackboard. You'll miss something for sure. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna um, if uh, next time we go downstairs to the little uh, the homunculi, let's ask him if there's some sort of like a janitor that's in here. Maybe he can finish this equation for oh, us. Like, like in uh, what how, Google how about right? them apples? Right? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna walk in and I'm gonna remove the dagger from the floor and close the door. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna stare uh, can at you I, be like, can I actually just get the rest of the <laughs> medical? Can I get the rest of the ingredients for the potion there? Yep. Like I just grab her, grab her. And um, do I have enough of the like stuff that was around to actually make a potion, or do I still require more materials? Um, yeah, you would need. Um, uh, it requires um, like gold leaf, which you would probably have in your herbalism kit as something ready for it. It's probably something that came with it. Um, How should I mark that down in my inventory? Yeah, it's a um, special kind of gold leaf that's treated for this kind of thing, and then you just need water. So that's what I picked up was the gold leaf? Uh, no, you picked up the herbs that go in with the gold leaf. Okay. All right, so um, if I if I uh, cross reference between like the uh, big picture of the stars, all of these things are pointing at different constellations. Uh, they are not pointing at them right now. 
I'll help them move them to what yeah, so it was in the big map. So I'm like, so yeah, I basically I'm like, how do we align these? Is like, they, they, like they look like my, telescopes, right? Or they, yep, do they, they look are, like lamps, or do they look they like are telescopes? Okay, yeah. so we have, we'll have to, to line point them up these telescopes. Then... Yeah, we got to figure out what the big ball is, though. Yeah, I'm just tinkering with it. Yeah, what's one of the constellation? Um, which we yeah, we'll just point it at those big starbursts that we had, right? Because on the painting they had the big starbursts, the silver ones, right? That's the ones we yeah. want to go for. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's what we're saying. Um, did anyone take the book? Yeah, I would have grabbed it. Yeah. So, is that what did the book letter on it? The book is the Eternal Tome of Pisan, um, and it is a uh, golden tea. Does that name mean anything? Um, no, not not really. Um. Yeah. The book names is someone important. else typing this down? Or do I have to write it down? I think it's so important it. or not. We just need the letters. The tea, right? Did oh, somebody write yeah. this down already or should I start writing it down? It's it's in general oh. right now. We've got all the letters. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, E, R, Y, and T. Unless I fucked up on one of them. No, that's what you got. I'll just go. So you guys are aligning the uh, um, telescopes? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I was going to just uh, follow the instructions from Golnov and, and start aligning them to each one to a different uh, starburst, I guess. If I can use yeah. my thieves tool to uh, adjust where they're looking. Uh, you don't need to use thieves tools. You just... Um... Sorry, I'm trying to select this damn door right every time I accidentally select Golomov. Come on. Can keep turning. There we go. Um, so, you can easily move them around. They're well greased and whatnot. Um, each time you get one to a one of the stars, the um, the crystal globe turns in its little thing. Um, it's like you're dialing an address, um, and it finally gets oh, to the fifth one, and then um, the. Um, the door the, slams. The sky slams. in front of you, I suppose, um, or the horizon in front of you disappears into a uh, an open door. No door itself, but an open doorway into a uh, new room. This is getting crazy, y'all. I'm uh, good job, oh, Dolma. Go to the door. <laughs> I'm gonna let one of the big boys go in first, and I'm gonna be caught. I can go in first. I'm, like... <laughs> I'm not keen on dying again. Okay. Still bleeding out. Is that a book, though? I'm gonna be peering over his shoulder. Um, <laughs> looks like a book to me. This room is bare except for a wood shelf covered in chains against one wall, a plain wooden bench. Um. A reading desk built into the shelves with a book with the bust of a mage on its cover uh, sitting on this desk and then cobwebs all around the uh, room. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What has the things on it? Uh, the, the sh bookshelf. bookshelf. I'm gonna grab the, the book. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> I think it had a mage so, on it there, right? Um, yeah, a busty mage. You a busty mage. Grab the book, and then the chain chains the get me. Start moving yeah. and attack. So I'll turn right. that combat music back on. I'm staying as far back as I completely can. All right. <laughs> 
So let's get initiative again. Son of a bitch. Eleven. Okay. Have we not learned by right. <laughs> fifteen? Right? Also fifteen. I can't read y'all. We should have taken that long rest like you suggested before we start playing around the horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. And it is going first. Bring so... it on. Oh no. I spit on your name. What do you mean, oh no? So well, you're the first oh, you're one is a critical hit. Uh, how come every time we get into a combat, I'm getting like critical hitted all the time? I have the highest yeah. goddamn AC, and I seem to be the one that always getting critical. Um, and then bullshit. the second one is a 16. I'm guessing the 16 misses. Uh, 16 doesn't hit me. Okay. But I guess the critical hits so, me. So, um, bludgeoning damage. So, knocked off balance, double damage, and lose uh, the attack on your next turn. So you okay, lose guys, your, well, you lose your main action. You can just use a bonus. New character next week, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna have to play your here, right? Okay. North, I'll Archie be like, I will. Um, I'll try not to let you die. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're you're down definitely. That was an eight. So you have the down is sixty. Yeah, he's not down. Would, not dead. Not dead. You're not dead. That's the yeah. That's the double your full HP, I think. Right. But he also has relentless. He's an orc. That's true. So Correct. So you don't you don't you drop got one hit point. One. Nice. Yeah. That's right. I... Back the fuck up with that book. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Iggy, you're next. Yeah. So I'm at one HP now. Can I see it from my angle? Um. Yes. It's big. It goes. Oh, I forgot to make it visible again. So, yeah. What is this I'm looking at? That is, well, I can only fit half of it there, but, um, yeah, it's, it's there. Um, and actually, you know what, I could, you know, kind of skew the picture, but... X scale goes 2.5. And then goes here. There we go. Now it's fully in there. It's a large creature wide, but a not uh, large creature depth. Am I, do I have the book in my possession? Um, you went to grab it and it attacked. Okay, so I didn't get an opportunity to grab it then. No. So it swings books at you with the chains, and you didn't get an opportunity to grab it. Uh, you went for it. And yes, Iggy, you do have a uh, line of sight on it. All right, I'm just going to try shooting it then. Okay. With my, um, with my uh, clockwork dragon. All right. 19? 19, that is a hit. It's much bigger than the swords. Seven fire damage. Seven, all right. Blam. Um, okay, next is Corbin. Uh, can I move to the opposite corner as far away as I can? All right. You are in the far corner. And then I guess, shit. Um, one second here. So, uh, I guess I'm, I'll do vicious mockery on it. It's got to have to do wisdom of fourteen. Okay. Fails. Nice. Let's see what we got here. Four. Is it? We don't have exploding this time, eh? No. And that's um, psychic. 
psychic damage. Yeah. It say you're, doesn't seem to be. I don't know what a good insult is. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. So I was like, uh, yeah. What did you say? I couldn't even it? think of a. I was gonna. I was gonna tell it like it's. Uh, it probably can only read children's books. <laughs> But right. it didn't care. <laughs> Golemov, you're it, up. Sorry, I, I kind of missed the, the first little bit. Was this like a... Is this a mirror that's attacking us? Or, no, sorry, it's I, a bookcase. A bookshelf. Oh, okay, so it's another... Okay, it's probably another mimic. Um, Alright, I'm going to move to the front. Uh, I guess I'm going to squeeze in behind him. Big monk things. And probably go to the yeah, top or bottom. I don't think it really matters. Um, and... Actually, I don't want to punch it. I'm gonna hit it with the quarter staff. I think. A monk weapon. I'm pretty sure I'm a weapon. Yep. Quarter staffs are yep. okay. monk weapons. Perfect. Uh, 23 to hit. That hits. Oh damn. Nice. Uh, it does seven damage. Nice. And then I'm gonna uppercut it with a pr trunk punch. Okay. My bonus action. I rolled a one. <laughs> okay. There's one. You punched yourself in the face. It is um, <laughs> tender. Your trunk will deal half damage on your next two attacks. Yikes. Poor nose. Poor trunk. So you slammed into it, but. You did more damage to yourself than to it. Um, next is Severin. I am going to disengage. Okay. And run back. Am I uh, on my ass or am I standing? Um, because of your thing, you are standing. All right, then I'm just gonna like get out of the room. I'm gone. Yeah. Go half cover over there. Is that half covered when he, he can go behind the wall or whatever it is? Uh, that would be full cover. That'd be full cover. Alright. So, next... Am I, would I, am I still in range? I, I'm worried no. that I'm going to... Um, can I like, go back near the door? Be, the chains don't seem to be long enough to hit you outside the room. Okay, then uh, I'll just chill there then. Okay. Um, so, it is its turn. Now it's got a different person. It's got Golomov. Um, it rolls a one. Nice. Nice. Um, See, this is, this is what I don't like. How come the elephant gets the better treatment? <laughs> There's so much orc hatred. Looks like even bookshelves hate orcs. orcs. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is orc number one enemy. Book! Right. We don't read! <laughs> so, uh, that's why it hurts so much. The chain it that it is uses a book, next right? is. I was trying to sound out a word and it basically just gave me so much psychic damage that I fucking died. Okay, so the chain that it uses next is kind of overextended when it goes for you. Um, even so, it hits you with a critical hit. Oh. What? Slapped you with what? a tickler. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> How does it Wait, get what? a critical after How does it get a rolling a one? crit off of a one? So it's going to well the first one was a one and the second one was a twenty. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You get both sides of the coin on this one, friend. I see. Yep. So Brad, you gotta check your dice. What, what was the result I'm of using, the one? I'm using D and D Beyond for it. So now you better reset. Well D and D Beyond needs to check their dice. With Hooray. the one, it yeah, is. Yeah, I'm writing up an email right now. With the 1, it's dealing half damage with its next attack. With the 20, it's dealing um, double damage. Double damage, but just does regular damage. <laughs> so, um... We're getting killed by inanimate objects, and I'm not happy about it. Right? It deals uh, 3 damage to you. Oh, well, that's not bad. Well, that's nothing like the 9 and the 16 that came before. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's because I'm an orc. <laughs> um, Book bad. They had, they had a word that was three syllables and they just took me out. <laughs> um, so, Iggy, you're up next. 
Well, I'm my, I still have my clockwork dragon. I'm going to pull the tail and fire another fireball. Okay. 24. Oof. Yeah. Nice. Still not a crit, right? Not a crit. Um, uh, nine fire damage. Nine. All right. Ah, oh, damn. It is now bloody. It's got a bunch of little books that have, um, caught, not really caught fire, but they got scorched and the uh, chains that hold them kind of fell a little loose. Uh, Corbin. Uh, what? I'm gonna throw my dagger at it. Okay. See if I can do any better. <clears throat> 19. 19, that's a hit. Three. One. One da- uh, three damage. Three damage. Ah. All right. Hey. Stick it into one of those little books. Three Jeez. is better than nothing. Um, go them off. That's the best I can do. Right? Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to center myself in the room and then jab it with the quarterstaff. Okay. You should headbutt it. Headbutt the shit out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna jab it first. Uh, I don't know, 12 to hit? 12 misses. Have, any, have anything yet to help? Um, okay. And... Yeah, for my bonus attack, I'm going to... I'm trying to strike it. And remember, and your trunk's gonna do half this. damage. Uh, Would you be able to break uh, it? What kind of, like, or, uh, can, can't you use, like, all your arms or something like that? That's um, not yet. Yeah, the trunk I'm still, is still his level racial one. thing. So he can okay. use his trunk as a bonus action, right? Uh, it's a bonus action to use my trunk, and I can use it as an unarmed strike. Right. Oh, uh, okay. And because I'm a monk, it just will work later so better. It's round... it's round down for damage, right? Uh, round down, yeah. so it should be two. Yeah, it'll be two. Okay, Sever. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I'm gonna throw a javelin at it. Okay, oh, you take a step up, throw a javelin. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. Nine damage. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Kick his ass, sea bass. All right, it is looking really bad. He's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. Um, it goes for its two attacks. Um, two twenties. First is a twenty-three <laughs> to hit. He says yes. And the second is going to be a nineteen to hit. Yes, unfortunately. This is gonna hurt. So, first is 7 damage. Okay. And second is 6. I'm guessing you're down? I'm down at that point. Okay. Um, Iggy. Okay. I'll step. Uh, five feet down, closer to Corbin, uh, and then I'll use a free action to draw up uh, a couple of extra daggers for him to pick up. Okay. Sweet. And then I'll fire a uh, firebolt at the uh, thing again. All right. Pulls out a couple daggers, yeah, them off to you to the side, and then grabs his dragon and fires it off. Well, well, I only have one to grab those daggers. Free no, action. it's a free action to drop it like yeah. Okay. yeah. So what was your uh, attack roll? Nine. Nine miss. So, Corbin. I'm going to throw some dice. Or th- th- throw, throw some, some dice. dice. Throw my dagger <laughs> at it. <laughs> oh, come on. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. Nice. Here we go. Three. Three, all right. It's looking really rough. Um, 
Golomov. Let's get a um, uh, death save. Give me a 20 here. There's no actual roll for it. Wait, with the, with the rules, you still have, um, you can still do something with the new rules, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. So do you be able if to... If you want to. If you want you to. You can jam it instead, or how does that work? If you use your action, you automatically fail one death save. What was the action? Oh, sorry, I'm going to go look up these actions again. Before. I think it was move is free half movement. Post rules or something. Dying. Okay, uh, I can take move an action without penalty. Take an action or bonus of action. You can one deal with this. Can't use reactions. You have disadvantage on strength and dex. You must be if you fail. Okay. So. You get up and get back up, back off, right? On a scale of like. How bad is it? Um, it is close to stiff wing. Wait, do you take a death save if you move? No. I I'd can. No, I would. Yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't even. I, as far as I understand it, I wouldn't fail one either. Basically, what the what the thing is here is what I could do. There's two things I could do. I could take the action. You disengage, move away from it, take one death save throw from that, yep. and then take another, and then have to roll at the end of my turn. The other option is we go full elephant. And I take the attack. I take the attack to hit him. If I hit, if I hit, I'd still take the death saving throw, but we may or may not be out of combat if it's dead. And if I really wanted to, I could take the bonus action and take another death save to try and hit it again. Then I'd be at two, and then I'd die because it'd be instantly crit. Because I'd be dead. Um, and you roll <laughs> at the is, end of your turn um, still. And, I, and I roll at the end of my turn, so I'd still what, be What would be the that. rules for if I were to remove him from combat? Would disengage have, still have to come into play for that? Um, I would give it a... I'll be um, a an attack of opportunity at disadvantage. Well, you drag him out pretty much. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If I drag him out, grab him by his. Here's that option right? too, because I can also drag you out and bring you back, which is what I was planning to do. Or you could just jab him in that motherfucker. Yeah, but we're at this point. I'm going full elephant. Okay, go full elephant. Um. All right, so first attack. staff to hit. Oh my fucking god, it's a twelve. Twelve misses. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cry. Uh, failure. Where is it? Uh, take that. What about what about fate points? You can still use a fate point uh, if you fail your last death save. We have, how many fate points do we have? That's a, I can't remember how that works. Start, we, we start all, with we one. All, we all started with one. We all start um, with one. Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I have, I'm going all in on this anyways, because if I, it counts as a crit. Um, 24 to hit. That hits. Oh no, though. Fucking one, or I did five damage. How do you do that? How do you do this? Uh. Just roll onto nice. it. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Sneeze it's on just it. Like, like, uh, it's like a. Um, you put your hand up to stop it, and it fucking knocked it over. No, no, so, so it's like. Um, so it'd be like standing up with the staff and like half heartedly swing at it and miss, and then like uppercut it with the trunk. And All just right. Destroy the bookshelf. You smack it. And then. That's two fails, and roll your next one. God. Roll ten or above. 
Oh my god, I rolled a fucking five! Oh. <laughs> can he use can he use a fate point? He can or is use that a fate point. Either? I don't know if it's worth it. Well, it's, it's, you're dead it's otherwise, pressure. you might yeah. as well. Might as well use it. Or wait, did, if he takes if wait, if he takes the action and takes a death save, does he since he automatically failed it, does he still have to roll at the end of his turn? Or yeah. does that just count as his automatic fail? Okay. Yeah, automatic fail, so, automatic fail, and rolls at the end of the turn. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. How well renowned are we at the university? Not very. You guys are hey. in the fringe department which is the place where the people that they um people that have weird theories or people who they just that want guy. to keep away from the public especially any prospective um uh like investments that sort of thing so you're endable. Yeah, you're expendable. Yeah, uh I mean I and then I guess the other question becomes do fate points carry over for characters? So if I yes, got if you'll, this character you'll have died, a fate yeah, point for your next would character. He, would the, okay. So then in knowing that then I would probably use it for because I don't wanna lose this character already. Right? <laughs> Are we able like, to give fate points like to you? I, no. if something happens? I, I get it, but like... But if we do like the on next one level... Hand, I'm okay. Just, yeah. Do it. Right, so like, if you, were, if you were to just take his fate point now and it doesn't work, his next character still gets one anyway. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Alright, so, so you might as well just use it and see what happens. Uh, no, I know. It just... It, 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 I'm one of those people that plays an RPG and saves every single item until you, they, they can until the very end of it, and then you don't end up using them. <laughs> so I, I kind of want to save the fate point. At the same time, I'm like, okay, well, I don't know how much opportunity I'm actually going to have to use it, so I don't mind actually Well, if you're that. dead, you don't get it anyway, because if you start a no, new I, character, you uh, yeah, reset. Yeah. yeah. So I may as well. Okay. So what is it that saves you with this fate point? It could also be that we all just think he's dead and then he comes back later. Yeah. I think he's dead, guys. The elephant dude's fucking dead. I mean, I just feel like it would, it, it would be relevant to be like, the final encounter is like, basically the book fight case fell on me and oh. crushed me, but I killed it. If that makes okay. sense? Yeah. So like, uh, like, but then, not but then the bookcase falling on you started your heart back up again. <laughs> and you're actually still alive. I'm gonna lift the bookcase off his body then. Yeah, and you need to get to the book anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. the most important part. Do you guys yeah. remember how um, it was it uh, in uh, Dumb and Dumber where the guy was on the ground dying and then like Jim Carrey hey, like jumped on him, he's like slamming yeah. on his chest and stuff like that. That's what Take my guys run over there and do. <laughs> Breathe! Are you giving him a people's elbow? Nope, just trying to breathe into his mouth and slam it on his chest. Not doing Wait, do you uh, believe into his mouth or do you believe into his no into his trunk? How about I this? Can, I'll breathe into his mouth up. if you breathe into his trunk. Done, let's do what this. What about the Alright, Nick, you breathe into his third trunk. What about the blowing oh, smoke up the ass? <laughs> you do that, that too! Works. That does work sometimes. Iggy, I'll bend, <laughs> I'll bend him over. You just get a lot of air in you, little yeah, man. We're in Victorian, we're in Victorian, uh, um, Forgotten Realms. <laughs> and in the Victorian ages here, there were, <laughs> there were bellows along rivers to, uh, blow smoke up people's asses because they thought that would save you from drowning. I got All a right. 16 in my medicine check if that does anything. Corbin, Corbin, spit on my fist. I'll reach in there and get him going. Oh, God. Spit on <laughs> Everybody, spit on my fist. Uh, you better get a good grip, buddy. Get a good grip. <laughs> Lube it up real good, guys. Hawk and loogies on this fist. So, I'll take my gauntlet off, even. You, you notice that he's won't be so pokey. breathing before you have to get there. <laughs> yeah, you, you, come, you come to like consciousness you're, as like we have your like, hands down. And my hands, you're like, ready to go. Spit. And then... 
Uh, Corbin, he's the breathing. very intelligent one, is like, oh, wait, he's breathing. Yeah. And then as that happens, I suggest we all take a long rest, and I will pass out. All right. Well, then. And then I walk off my hand, and I'm like, you're lucky. I had to do the life-saving lay on hand here. <laughs> yeah. Lay, the, in the, hand. lay in lay hand. In lay hand. in hand. <laughs> so he's awake and looks somewhat okay? Yep. All right. He's not um, awake. He's still unconscious. Oh. Basically, so, yeah, I'll use my, la- I'll I'll use my actual me. last lay on hand to give him a hit point. Okay. And that'll be let's, me expending all of my shit. Let's take in this nice room here before we do anything else. Huh? So you, you get one hit point. Right. The book. So, the book can wait until after we take a long rest. I'm gonna go sleep in one of those chairs downstairs in the study. All right. I'm gonna go sleep. I'm gonna might go sleep in the bed. Didn't we already check that shit out? Yep. That room is a bit checked. Oh, before I would do that though, I would see how attached these uh, shelf books are. How attached all those books are? No, the telescopes. Oh, they're uh, they're sure. built in. They are attached. Like, if I could, I would try to remove one with my thieves' tools, if possible. Um, I... You know, it's stuff like this that you think they would think of. Um, so I don't think planetarium... Oh. Or at least or we could just very, actually just damage um, one, right? Did yeah. you go for this? If I um, if I see if I can take the lens out, I, I'll, I'll fashion a magnifying glass for myself later. Okay, you can definitely do that. Great, so I'll just put the um, lens, I guess, telescope lens in my inventory. Okay, yep. Because that'll save me like 100 gold pieces. Those things aren't cheap. Yeah. All right. Why don't you take all of them? We'll have a bunch. It'd take too long. Ah, fair. That's not cheesy. Right. Who's grabbing the book and we're going to all go take a nap? I'll grab a book. Okay. You grab that big bust. So is it a sweet pear on it or what? <laughs> well, it said it was a bust of a of a, a mage. Wizard, yeah, the mage was. So, so is, is this book is the gold letters in Boston at two D's? Um, unfortunately <laughs> not. The um... do you remember um, Robin Hood Men in Tights? <laughs> Where that old guy, the blind guy, has got the book. <laughs> it's like a, the the blind guy's porno there, and he's sitting there because he's feeling it. That's the kind of book it is. So it's got all the big lumps and stuff like that you can feel. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so this one is called the Luminous Librum of Telly, and the golden letter is an L. L. Liberty. Be. Oh yeah, you're literty. Literary. Is it literacy? It's in a lot of letters for that. We don't even know where the books go. I don't even know if we know where the books go to. Hillary. Yeah, we don't know if we have them all or not. I just thought. Like, do I notice? Uh, right. um, oh, guilty. No, that won't make sense. I was gonna say is it library, but I guess like the T wouldn't make sense. It could be uh, if we're, we're missing, missing one. If we're missing an A, it would be reality, right? I don't know. No, am I missing uh, too much? Too oh, many letters? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he'd be right. Or we we're right. Mm. So the there, there might be an A. Let's all take a, a long rest. I agree. Can we take a long rest, y'all? Yes, I don't want us to die anymore. Yeah. So. Give me an E. <laughs> As we're all dying. <laughs> Alright, so can we take a long rest? Yes. Can we just do can. that? Um, I'm going to so... click on long rest, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the one of those chairs. So... I will just straight up pass out wherever someplace I can pass out in. Next time, guys, I'm, I'm going to actually uh, not use my 
spells for stupid stuff when I'm going to use my cure. And How come it says take long rest and then... Oh, I have to confirm it. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I figured it out. I was wondering why that wasn't working. So I imagine that last book's downstairs. Actually, um... If I wake up, I would want to go downstairs and look at the uh, jars and stuff. Okay. You know what? I'll go with them too, just in case. Alright. Well, I would like to go down with them. As we're passing that front door, can I just speak out reality and see if anything happens? Alright. Sure thing. Um, so, I'm going to move this down. Sorry, I'm trying to get the time set in. You know, we should probably get a move on. We don't know how long this, whatever this is, is going to last. Um, we don't know where it's going to shoot us out, if at all. Well, they're saying that's been around for a long time, right? Yeah. Well, the longer, looks than... like longer than normal, normal uh, thing would be taking. Yep. Still has moved. And we know very that. You know who made the, or we have an idea of who possibly made this. Uh, there's Fist, there's Fistandia, Fistandia, who made one of the homunculus, and, uh, Freya. And then I thought we heard one other name at one point, but I don't remember. So, um, you guys get your full rest. rest and then uh you speak reality over by the door yeah. right yeah just to see what happens nothing happens just as bad as i'm happy. nothing happens okay no. there. okay and then you guys go down stairs once you've gotten your rest yes I think we're going to be staying in more of a group this time. <laughs> All right. At least that's what I'll suggest, as I'm walking in the middle of the group. You're staying in the middle? Yes, I'm staying in the middle. <laughs> you tell me it's safe. I'll just go straight ahead. I want to see these brain jars. Okay. I'll go right in front. So how do the death, death saves work now for the long rest? Um, they stay right? with the long rest. I believe they reset, or is it oh, the really? full rest? All the death saves, or that's only one, I believe. Only one. So um, how would I reset so that now? Then you recover one for... after completing a long rest. Okay, so you guys have to remind me. I have one. I don't know how I'd undo that again. Would I set myself down to zero again, or how does that work? Um, just to put it. Yeah, you would put it down. You just have to note it. I, there's nowhere to. You had nowhere to reset it, almost, right? There should be. I'm not sure why there isn't for you. Right. Hmm. So I just I'd still have one, and then I'll just go all the way back to eight. I'm pretty sure D and D Beyond just wipes them, so you need to just note it. Yeah. I'll just try to remember. I'm down. I have one. Down one level. Yeah. I think I was a prick now. Wait for the... So uh, what's going on here? <laughs> so, in this room, um, the um, yeah. All you see, oh, actually, there is an actual collection mentioned here. Uh, you see a cockatrice, a flump, cockatrice. a giant fire beetle, um, a small grill, a myconid sprout, a pseudo dragon, um, and that. Um, 
Gazer. Oh man, a flump has got to be rare. Yep. Well, I would take the flump for sure. You said there's brains in jars too? Um, there's a few, yeah. Do they look like like usable? <laughs> um, there's one like if label, they become a battle after. <laughs> Is there? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is there a nice big one? Um, Maybe I want to put it in my, um, if I go Battlemaster, I put it into my uh, automaton. <laughs> yeah, you can find one. Hmm. Thinking about it. it. Might give me some personality. It might. What are you oh, really laughing at? Iggy's looking at brains in a jar. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, you said there was a plump, uh, a growl. Which one of those are? Do I think are rare? Grell I don't think the night are. Flump, are they? Um, cockatrice are um, ones that aren't really. Yeah, cockatrice would be rarer. Um, fire beetles are not, and myconids are not rare. Uh, and pseudo dragons as well. Oh, for the cockatrice. Um, because when they attack, they have a stoning ability, right? Yep. Did I know that? Yep. Um, if I... Hmm. If, would I be able to hit something with the cockatrice body and maybe stone it? Like, petrify it? Um, probably not, because it's a dead. rubber chicken? It would be, it would be a rubber chicken. Right? All right, I'll take the, I'll take the cockatrice and the plump. Okay. If I can carry those, how heavy would those that be? Um, the flump would be pretty light. The cockatrice is going to be heavier. It's probably a, like a fairly large turkey, maybe a goose. Did we go down this hallway into this other room yet? Not yet. Nobody has. I can only I'll, carry about four pounds. I'll go down there and I'll have a look. I'll open the door. Okay. I'll drop uh, both of my long swords. Yeah, I'll pull you. <laughs> All right. So. All right. So you head into another room. Um, this one is there. Uh, the air. S the air smells of astringent chemicals. Long wooden tables stretch across the room, laden with vials, beakers, and flasks, holding various liquids and powders. Uh, books are stacked between glassware and chemicals, yellowed paper charts, and blackboards full of complex formula uh, formulae cover the walls. Um, wow. the Is there any health potions or anything I can kind of discern that would be useful in here? Um, give me What's your perception? Um, My perception is 13. pretty good. Um, I got a plus three in it. Yeah. Um, 13 is enough to spot that um, there are two vials that are um, potions of healing and um, a ton of alchemical materials that you could, um, you'd probably need for, you'd probably need a, uh, an alchemy kit to use rather than, um, your herbalism kit, but there are a couple potions of healing. Two specifically. I'll take the, I'll take both. Okay. Um, there's Does also four like small brilliant. clay figures, um, on one of the tables. Um, they range from rudimentary, barely humanoid, to a small winged body that is so lifelike it almost appears to be asleep. Um, walking in, um, Corbin, you don't have trouble noticing that it's the uh, beginnings of humunculi, or homunculi. Oh. Um, I'll, I'll relate that to everybody. Oh, look, some humunculi is being made here. Fun. <laughs> you do also find a puzzle 
Oh, you find one of the books, um, this one, uh, leaning against a beaker, is Briala's Scrolls of Law. Um, the gold letter is a B. B. Liberty! Oh, Dan, that probably is it, isn't it? Liberty. Alright. Maybe. <laughs> is there anything else I would be able to check out? Like, just uh, with my passive perception? Or invest passive investigation or perception? That would just kind of jump out at me? So, um, with your intelligence... You can tell that, um, looking at the formulae, what they were trying to do was basically, um, the Philosopher's Stone thing. They were trying to turn various materials into gold, and then they changed their research into making homunculi, which they obviously managed to do with the two upstairs, and then there's this one that looks perfect for a homunculi just needs the magic done on it. Do you think right, one of us would be able to do it with the stuff lying around? It's about this time that Iggy uh, drags in the, the um, Lester Beholder jar. <laughs> <laughs> How heavy is that though? Are you just you're pushing it and pulling with it? With all the water in it, it's pretty heavy. Even though... Probably um, rolling it. You said that the um, the cockatrice would be like a goose, so I looked it up, and ge geese are like 10 pounds or so. Are they? For like a mature one. Even so I put Canada 10 goose? pounds, I put it in my inventory. Okay. So I'm slashing around a plump and a cockatrice <laughs> in my backpack right now. Um, I, had to, I had to drop the long swords because I can't carry that much. You dropped the long, can I go grab the long swords? I'll make those yeah, mine just now. two long swords in the, in the other room there. Yeah, go ahead. I'll take them. Oh, I grabbed my ball bearing, too, and it's in my uh, little clockwork cat's uh, its mouth. It's still glowing. So, as for the homunculus, um, you know that you will need um, a very... Um, you know that you'll need a particular spell. Uh, powerful, mm. a more powerful spell. Okay. Can I start searching this room to find a secret door or anything like that? Or anything, yeah, like a secret door. And if that doesn't work, I'd like to look at those, uh, the stuff on the, the calculations to see if maybe there's like some hidden calculations underneath with, you know, some like invisible ink or anything like that. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Golomov's gonna Seems go like first with the, uh, the monkey lie in the kitchen. It's a, it's a pretty big stretch. I I, 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 I reach. I I reach. Reach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. We, uh, lift up the uh, the uh, the holder jar upstairs. Did you want me to okay. roll for investigation? Oh, are you asking me to move it? Up? Yeah. Is investigation one of your skills, or do you have to roll for it? I'm proficient in investigation. Okay, so... Yeah, I get I, a passive 14 is what I get. Um, Iggy, were you asking me to help you move this jar upstairs? Yeah, I'm too small. Can't get it up the stairs. There. Put it on his back. Yeah, I can try. You take the top, I'll take the bottom, okay? All right, I'll try. There. Where's that elephant? Call him off! <laughs> hey, he's busy oh. doing elephant shit. I got this. Yeah. Um, so there doesn't appear to be any doors... Um, and there also don't appear to be any, um, uh, hidden oh, words man, or anything. My brain's not working. So we found, we went through every room so far, right? Yep, you've gone through every room. So so at the beginning, of the, so at the beginning of the entrance, is it like a bookshelf that we're looking at? Um, which entrance below you? The one that we came in um, through. The one that you came in is a door. Yeah, does the door have like any slots or anything? Um, it does not. Um, 
Who's gonna uh, yell, give me liberty or give me death? So what the fuck do we have these books for? I thought there was like some sort of key or some shit. Maybe we just put them in the sequence to spell liberty and then say it. Hey, that's or, might be a, uh, might be yeah, but usually thing. when you put them in sequence, you gotta put them somewhere. You put them right where the portal is. I'm okay, not sure. Just a cigar. But he, uh, yeah. I thought there was an extra room upstairs we didn't go into, but I'm, I'm not sure. Nope. You're all done. the room north of the kitchen. We haven't gone into the room north of the kitchen here. There's a door on the north side, right? Right. All right, let's go do that. I'm going to run up and kick the door open. I neglected that room specifically because it wasn't, didn't have anything to do with dining at the time. I'll just run up and kick the door open because at this point I'm getting bored of being in here. I'm just like, okay, guys, I'm ready to get out of here. And I'm saying this pocket dimension shit. I almost died I twice. Of this thing and I point at the fucking beholder. Look at this. What? I, so you got some octopus in there? I, I don't care. I'd like to grab some food ooh, from ooh, spooky dead hey, octopus. Contact, friend, this thing is money. I guess. So, um, what you find in that room is the pantry. Ooh, even more food. <laughs> so I just like totally go in there and Sparta kick this fucking door open and knock over all the beautiful <laughs> fucking dried pasta the, and shit. The spice rack. Guys, I found some crap dinner in here. I just fucked it up. <laughs> I, I will investigate the pantry for a hidden door. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, this is where you kept all the chocolate door. bars. What's that? You do not find a hidden door. Oh. Great. Right. So you're telling me the cookie jar isn't in here. Hey, I peek around the shit. corner. I, um, I'm proficient in cook's uh, utensils. Can I see if there's anything like saffron in there or something that'd be particularly expensive? Um... Yeah, there's there's a little of everything in there. All Actually, right. can I take um uh I'll take just an assortment of spices if I could. Sure. I would like like for uh, for cooking for later. Yeah, I guess like if we want to pack up some rations, it's not a bad idea. Golomov does what? Anyway, I'm gonna spice things up before we're on the road. Literally. Can I go up to one of these home monkey line and be like, how the fuck do we get out of here? Oh, Part of my French. Uh, how they were made. Or what room did Part they wake common. up in? Um, the human says in the um, laboratory downstairs. And then Coriander make you? Um, to you says um, Oh, the mistress would say uh some word she never said it loud enough or around us to hear but she would say a command word that would open it up one command the front word. at the front door in the room downstairs oh at the front Wait. door i'm gonna just say it liberty okay you say liberty and what about the other homunculus that's down there oh yeah ask them about the scroll I... Uh... yeah no i wanted to ask them where uh if they wanted another brother. <laughs> another brother from another mother. For some reason, my portal disappeared. How big are the homunculi? Are they like the cat size? Um, yeah, they're about cat size. Are you gonna can grab I, one can I look at one of them? Like, do you guys want a new daddy? Like, I'll take you with me. <laughs> You're gonna be here forever, do you? No, no, this is our home. Yeah, oh, okay, like, yeah, you guys are fun at parties. Hey, right, let's get out of here. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna punch that wizard right in the mouth. No shit, right? You guys got my back, right? Oh, <laughs> Something some goes south, you got my back? I'm looking at you, Iggy. Okay. okay. I'm also surprised that they didn't, like, send another party in because we were gone for, like... Almost ten hours, I think. Oh, yeah, you were. Going I mean, for Severin, a I'm not going to do On our contract, it says expendable. They don't really I'm not, care. I'm not going to do anything that's going to get me fired from the university. Right, so you're not going to punch the wizard in the mouth with me? Not necessarily. I've had run-ins with other organizations, and the university keeps me somewhat safe. Well, when I walk in here, you better be dead. Oh, well, it looks like there's a couple dead people. There are. Two dead <laughs> that's people. what I mean. 
Oh, you see, what? You see what the happened sage to our dead. Uh, you see the apprentice dead, and the tree with tea for you guys on the floor. All the <laughs> oh man, they killed Philip. Oh, they killed Philip. <laughs> wasn't Can Phillip. I use I have my investigation or my oh, no. perception you to find out how they were killed? We uh, left Lilith and Scamos behind. They came with. I mean, he told him with a right there. <laughs> Where so they just put their hands up. Do I see that imp statue anywhere? Wait, um, there's an imp in the corner. How about, how about the imp in the corner? <laughs> oh, of course, the imp just suddenly came to be. Well, it does attack as soon as uh, anyone comes up, so I don't know why he just appeared when I touched him. I'm gonna just... <laughs> No, I I don't know why he just appeared. He was there it's when we started the um, last week as well. I had to move him well, off I because he was for some is he reason actually there. Then what's that? Was he actually there then? No, no, he wasn't. He's and I. He's so we don't see him since now. Um, so is is he attacking us? He is. Yes. yes. Can I? Can I, before this okay. happened, would I, would, down. I, would I be have been able to put two and two together with that, uh, the portal, the summoning circle, that maybe what, whatever they uh, summoned was a creature from the abyss, so that maybe that was one of the creatures from the abyss that's um, had a little changing so spell or something like that? Imps, you we know, knew because it watched, out. are from hell, not Pretty the much. abyss. Not the abyss, but I don't know, I don't think that this might be an abyss creature with a glamour on or something? Um, no. It could have been, um... What the hell? Why did that open in the wrong place? Also, we have, we've dragged in a mimic uh, corpse on the chair and the jar of uh, Beholder. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Slowly moving our way in with that well, shit. I've got to... Characters, why is it? This one did. Why did it automatically go the wrong way? Okay. So, there we go. Uh, imp. I forgot to set this. Yeah, before. So, run counter. There we go. So, he's attacking everyone right away. Can I use the bonus action before anything? Uh, no, he might be or do I have to he's attacking immediately. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so if I do... Um, if I, like, just a question, my bonus action doesn't count as my action? Right. So bonus if I have a bonus action, action are separate. Can... Okay. Never mind. Um, and as for your question, it could have been summoned from that same summoning circle. It's not only from the Abyss. Uh, you just know that that know closet that was from the abyss. Oh, closet. And let's get some um, initiative. All right, guys, don't kill this dude. I got 18. Right. So, I got 18 as well. 18, 18, that was 18 with only a plus one deck. I got a natural 20 for a 22. Oof. Yeah, guys, don't kill it. Just punch it until it's unconscious. All right, so, Corbin, you're first. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action for Bardic Inspiration. Okay. So I'm going to pull out my uh, drums, and I'm going to start uh, bouncing up and down and going, whoom boo wick a whoom boo wick a whoom boo wick a whoom boo wick <laughs> And then, and I will get behind some of these big guys. And just right. move my way back, and uh, I don't... Can I hold? What are you doing with your bardic inspiration then? Are you giving yeah, it to yourself? Uh, anybody within? You have to pick feet? somebody. Yeah. You give it to oh, one uh, person. Oh, one creature. Okay, I will give it to the elephant guy. Okay, call him off. Yeah, he was already dead once. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> and then, am I able yeah. to like hold my dagger attack? Just to see um, kind of what's you cool. started your with your bonus action. You've started 
using your actions, so you can't hold an attack. Okay. You can either attack or I not. can't hold an attack. Okay, I will... I will... Sorry. Uh, vicious Mockery it. Okay. I'll say, look how tiny your penis is. <laughs> uh, that's a Wisdom, and right? Uh, wisdom, yeah, wisdom 14. Alright, he rolls a Acting seven, as tiny trunk. So, give me the damage. Four. four. He gets four psychic damage. Kind of used to having his tiny penis called. <laughs> You're right. He, uh, he kind of <laughs> screeches from that. He's, He's not like, too I'm non binary. <laughs> and... I'm sorry. He should have had advantage. Oh, whatever. Too late. Um, he should have had advantage. So, he is going to. Oh, yeah. He's going for the person that just made fun of his tiny penis. Son of a bitch. Um, He's a little bastard. I knew it. So. Oh, that's probably not get a hit. A 12? Oh, it just misses. All Thank right. goodness. This, this stinger of his comes at you, but you just get out of the way. And next is Iggy. All right, I'll pull up two daggers, and I'll just uh, attack him with them. Cool beans. So my first roll is with the, uh, with the modifier. Yep. 13. 13 is a hit. Our uh, second one is 7. 7 misses. Uh, he takes 4 piercing damage as I stab him once. Oof. Oh, he should only take half of that. Alright, he's bloodied though. Remember guys, let's try not to kill him. We need information. Severin, you're up. I'm going to throw my net at him. You have a net? You have a net. Nice. I'm going to throw my net. I put him in a full Nelson. <laughs> oh, fuck eight. Eight is a miss. I don't think I hit it. God damn it. All right. I threw my net wide. It probably just went right over top of him. <laughs> He's dying. Or, 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 or you caught the dead guy. Yeah, you caught, God you caught the sage. Um, damn it. Golubov. All right. Um, well, in saying that, uh, I will run to behind him or like to the south of him. It's like yeah. dance behind people along the bookshelves and then like try to put him in a full Nelson and I will attempt to grapple him. Okay. So he gets a uh, um, dex. An opposed assist. Yes. So you Acrobatics or uh, athletics? You have to do strength. And he gets. Uh, he he's gonna be able to have advantage now, right? Um, you, you can. Add no, add four, you no get I can. One d six. Yeah, one d six. You can add a d six. You add it to your roll. ability. No, but I can roll acrobatics as well. Can I not? No. I think only to escape the grapple, but I can't remember. Yeah, it's only to escape. Yeah, or... I guess strength yeah. to hold them, and then it's either either or to get out of it. It's strength to start it. Um, you can, uh, and then yeah, yeah. So you have to do strength. Um, strength athletics. If that helps. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I thought it was both. Uh, man, that's. No. Alright. Um, that's okay. Totally in the wrong spot. Um, because this isn't going to be as effective as I want it to be now. Depends what you roll. I think you get a plus six, though. Uh, yeah, no. Nine uh, plus. Let's roll that d6, uh, I think. It's, it's not worth it, no. Okay. So he's no, you only get that one one away that from your uh, full Nelson. And we're back up. Uh, to... But I'm going to trunk. Oh, trunk, yeah. I'm going to trunk punch it, though. Trunk punch. Because the grapple is technically only one of the attacks. Right. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Perfect. Uh, 
seven damage. All right, he is down. Oh, geez. nice. <laughs> You didn't kill him though, right? Can I use medicine to stabilize him? You can use medicine to stabilize him. I'm not gonna stabilize him. Or I guess we could stabilize him. I'm not healing him though. Let's tie him up first. How does that work? You can just do a wisdom, uh, a medicine check? To see if it's... Yeah. I'm proficient in art, so I have some medical proficiency. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, let's tie him up first. Ten, you stabilize him and then you can tie him up. Over. Tie him up. Put a leash on him. <laughs> right. I'll throw some uh, cold tea on him. See if get wake him up. <laughs> Slap him around. Yeah. Oh. What's Is this? there like a bell or something in this room to call like the guard? Um, you can open the door and call the guard. Wait, yeah, before we do that, let's rob this guy blind. What's in that chest? Um, no, we don't want to get it fired. We already have we have some money here. You, well, I guess you do you. I'll, I'm going to call the guard. Ah, whatever, fine. It'll, it'll take them some time to get here. Nah, it's it's fine. Well, I'll have a quick look around anyway, see if there's anything of note. Does he have any secret uh, stuff on his uh, desk? Any secret compartments? Um, yeah, let's... Uh... Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, we should be searching his books for any um, uh, crazed writings, since uh, anything new, I guess, in the last 10 since hours. Since he came back out, right? Yeah. Wait, is the, is the imp alive? The imp is alive. All right, I'm going to go up here, and I'm like, I'm not going to hurt him like physically to damage or kill him, but I'm going to punch him in the stomach and be like, who do you work for? He <laughs> says, myself. Are you going to see a Who do you work for? Then, <laughs> <laughs> Who does number two work for? I'm just going to continually pummel him until he tells me. And I'm like, you better not die on me, son. I'll bring you back and I'll do to kill you again. <laughs> he... I'll like, after the second punch, like, put my hand on on, on your fist and be like, this, uh, this will get us nowhere, friend. It is getting you nowhere. Uh, oh, okay. And then I punch him again anyway, for shit. <laughs> I'm like, you're, you're, he's like, hold my fist, I'm like, you're right. Ah! <laughs> Just do another quick one right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was for being a dick. Yeah. Says, I didn't petrify me. So yeah, you know, I probably you're right. punch you in the stomach. <laughs> this isn't gonna bode well for you, friend. And I, I call the guards. Okay. Wait, actually, guards. I do have a question for him. Did you, did you, did you kill these two people? Yes. Who are you summoned by? I don't know. A mage. And then she petrified me, and then I woke up here, coming out of a portal. Uh, oh, you sound can we like a all dick. Of our other, can we look at all, all of the other, any of the other items that we've brought from through the portal? Do any else of them look like they've been tarnished or lost their magical yeah, stuff? Good question. The life. What all did you bring? I brought, I brought uh, all that silverware. Okay. Uh, the, it's like the five daggers. Okay. And um, the jars of stuff. So like the, the flump, the cockatrice, and the. Uh, the beholder. The daggers turned to dust. What about the long swords? Um, one of the long swords stayed; the other turned to dust. What about the helmet? The helmet stayed. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, I also took all that spice. Uh, did that turn to dust? Um, one of them did not. And all the silverware is dust, right? Nope, the silverware was fine. And that letter opener was fine. And then the 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 turkey and the beholder, they're fine. Those were fine and the mimic, but the chair turned to dust. So as soon as you came through the mimic just (laughs) Um what about my uh, telescope lens? Uh telescope lens turned to dust. 
While they were beating him up, could I search the uh, sage guy? See what he had on him when he died? Yeah. Um, you find um, six coins. They are silver coins, but they look tarnished. You look old and tarnished. I also also took uh, a jeweled letter opener. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to show the the coins to the smart guy here, Iggy. Eggleson. I say, check this out. What what do you think about this? Unless they're magic somehow. I don't really know anything about history. Would I be able to... Can I look around the room and see if there's anything else? Like, documents or anything? Um, Would I be able to do my history to see about these coins? Yeah, you can do history. Markings or anything like that. Um, And... um, can give me a um, um, investigation looking around. Okay. I only got 11 on Arcana, so I suspect I don't know anything about the coins. Yeah, well, I got 12 on anything. the history. So. I got a history. 7 on my check. Yeah, you, make, got, make, uh, you find nothing of interest. I don't find shit. Um, can I make a history check? And on the coins? Your history? Yeah, you make a history check. What's your passive? Uh, it's 11. 11, you don't, uh, learn anything. Uh, Did I check the helper's body and see if, like, if there's anything on him? Is he even still alive? Probably he's not. He's not alive. He's been dead for a few hours. Um, that was oh, that's too bad. Points six points? Six. Um, your history with your 14, uh, these are old stamped coins from, um, Waterdeep. Is there any way we can go back through that portal again, or is that like a one-time deal? Um, well, the portal's gone, but you can speak the command word again to open it up. Yeah, the book still exists. Is it, where is it anchored? Is it anchored to something specific in this room or is it it just in general this room it seems to be anchored, anchored oh, to us uh, like within a certain distance from this book that the uh, um in- code word uh the command word was in it's so we have this book, book. Yeah. it's a dangerous I- thing maybe you should put that book in your backpack yeah. I'm going to put the, well, wait. I'll take the book and put it in my backpack if everyone's well, cool. That with way that. We can, I will we can remind have you. A place to go stay, right? I will remind you that this is Candlekeep, and this and book they, they will notice that the book is, is owned by the Library City yeah. of Candlekeep, and it is. They'll know it's missing. They will know it's missing, yeah. and you know yeah. that they have a guardian who does not like people taking books out of the city. Okay, I did not know that. So then I will not do that then. Okay. Ooh, actually, uh, since this is Candlekeep, we've got uh, how many books now? Six books to uh, potentially sell. Yeah. I am Zorade. You, can, books, I you can sell them. They do have some special properties, though, if you want to keep them. Oh. Are you able to read any of them, maybe? Um, so... It would take some time, but I'm sure. Um, the L book, if you read it, um, it will provide you a plus one bonus to a disguise kit for 24 hours. The I book will do the same for cartographer's tools. Um... The B book, you haven't figured out how to open. The E book is the uh, same plus one bonus for jeweler's tools. And this is only for 24 hours each one? Yeah. Are you able to type these because I'm not keeping up? <laughs> We should just sell them if they're only for 24 hours. If they're a permanent, I'd be like, yeah, but 24 <laughs> well, hours. You use them multiple times, though. Um, the R book, all of the 
pages are blank. The T book um, is also locked and you haven't figured out how to open it yet. And um, the Y book has some weird list of materials written in the front of the tome, but you're not sure what that's all about. Maybe we should just hold on to him for now then. Oh, I could always take time tonight when everything's going on and study at least one of the books. That's the books are, are the the one. Block. Um, uh, the ones that are, two locked of them. are locked are Briala's Scrolls of Law and the Etern the Eternal Tome of Pisa. Oh, is there a key to the law that enter? What's that, Iggy? Is there a key on it? Either one of them? No. Like a lock? No keys. No key. No locks? No. Hmm. Are they just won't open? They just won't open. There's probably a passcode or some phrase you have to say to it. Or find somebody with a knock spell. Hmm. Mm, maybe. I'll, uh... Can, can, I, can I look at one and say, speak law, then enter? Does that work? That does not work. Well, I'll speak I'll the... say law and elven. Does not work. I don't know how this shit works. I read that in the book You're once. You're in the greatest library that exists in this plane. Oh, uh, Golomov really is a researcher. We're be for this little bit. Okay. I thought Golomov couldn't read. Yeah, he can. Oh, no, he can read. Kind of open it. Oh. Yeah, so I can I can know in which area of the library I'm sure that we can find the information on how to open these books. Okay, hey, cool, but should we wait for that guard to show up? I feel like it's taking a while. Yeah, the guards... I'm going to punch the nip in the stomach again for a good measure. The guards do show up. Um, the imp is surprised when they actually arrest it rather than killing it or anything like that. Um, because it has been a statue for longer than the Hellriders have been... Uh, working with Asmodeus. So, it it is uh, discovering what prison <laughs> in the material plane is like. <laughs> it's like Oblivion, where they're like, oh, criminal, dumb. <laughs> they violated the law. They put little handcuffs on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need the special handcuffs, and it's like, yeah, little tiny ones. Locks his wings, too. <laughs> Yeah, they they take him away, and wait, hold on, guards, hold on, hold on, just hold on a sec. Okay, one minute, and then I punch the imp in the stomach again. <laughs> one of them, <laughs> one of them grabs you and starts holding you back from doing that again. All right, well then you have to do it. You have to remember. You have to remember what what <laughs> this is what he gets. I'll remember. I'll remember. Don't, you Don't worry. You, you better, I'll make sure to find you and tell you to remember. <laughs> Bad for so the guards know it, it wasn't us that killed these people. Um, it's pretty obvious they have um, wounds from the stinger. So who cleans up here? I ask one of the guards before they leave. We'll send janitors in. Someone else will take the study for themselves later. Okay, cool. So does that mean that everything in the study is like free game, or is that something we have to worry about later? says or, uh, he has um oh shit what's that word he has like that's a nice desk that's a real nice desk I'm just saying. he he has be a shame. family who will be taking what's theirs and the rest will the books will stay in the library are you sure you want this one book? I put in the book that I like, teleports. I'm like, this book doesn't look that important. You know, you could just give it to me. I'll take it. I'll take good care of it. it. Says that book was brought into the library. It cannot leave. Uh, all right, fine. fine. Maybe you should put a warning label on. <laughs> yeah. You, you put this one in like a, a silenced room or something. <laughs> Maybe even just like, like a like a sticker. <laughs> Maybe, well, like... Not our problem. You should write a report on it. That's the yeah, powers right. of Dino. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, um, we... All right, where do we go from here, boys? We'll... Well, you guys return to the, um, uh, university. Uh, it takes a couple days to get there, but you get back to the university, um, you learn over the time getting back, the coins are magical, um, very faint magic of, um, uh, it's, it's an, an indeterminate type. Um, the spice jar that you got is, um, uh, is magical as well. Very faint um, conjuration. Uh, you learn with that that it contains whatever spice you need to properly season your food at the time. That's awesome. Nice. Is it based on a craving or is it just whatever you select it to be? Basically what you select it to be. If you know how to cook, right. it will know what you need to put on something. That's awesome. Um, it doesn't have other oh, stuff. It doesn't have like flour and stuff like that, but it has the actual seasonings that you'll need. This is the complete opposite of our last campaign. <laughs> we get to eat delicious food this time yeah. instead of food that tastes like ash the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Um, and when you guys get back to the university, there is already a. Um, um, there's already something there telling you what you're doing next. Um, you have, you are being sent to Icewind Dale. Um, you, awesome. Um, you will be helping the people of Icewind Dale to the best of your ability. The speakers of each of the ten towns will, um, uh, may also have missions for you to help. Um, of course, you're going to be looking for any um, artifacts or special creatures, stuff like that. Um, if you can't return a creature alive, try to return it dead. If you can't return it dead without it rotting, try to get some um, illustrations of it or something like that. Um, and so are we basically just going to be Aaron boys for the Ten Towns? Uh, kind of. There's also a magical winter that has been placed over the entire region of Icewind Dale. Uh, for the past six years, it's been winter. And that is also one of your goals, is to figure out why and figure out if it's going to spread and figure out um, how to end it if possible. Is there any specific lore that we will know about, like, having this happen before, or is this a new phenomenon? This is a new phenomenon. Okay. All right. How, uh... Yep. Can, can I make a ridiculous request? Sure. Gol uh, Golmoth would like to request a bag of colding. If you're requesting bodies, how about... Uh, can we have a bag of colding to preserve them and bring them back? <laughs> um, bag a big bag of colding is a bit of a more specialized thing. Um, I'd say, what do artificers have? Um, artificers can make all of the infusions and they can make a bag and everything like that yeah, without an issue, um, including two. a bag of colding. Um, not a bag of holding though. At level two, I'm do you sure. have bag yeah. of holding? Bag of holding? Yep, regular bag. Okay, then with the um, bag of holding, you can um, make a bag of holding in, in place of that. All right, I'll look at Gollum up and I'll say, let's see what I can do. I got some, some things in the works here. What can Not. we request from the university for this, or do we do they just automatically give us stuff? Um, you are paid a uh, one gold per um, 
per day that you're on the thing, there is that you're on the mission. Uh, there is a um, you have a contact up there, um, a tabaxi. Let me find my thing here. Um, where the hell did I put it? Um, so, our main goal to go up there is to assist in trying to figure out why it's been winter for six years and everything else is basically just dick around and help the 10 towns. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, so I will also ask, um, I'll pull out the uh, two jars I have, and um, I'll ask you about the mimic and the, the bounties we can collect. Um, you ask what, I'm sorry? Um, I'll pull out the jar with the cockatrice, the jar with the plump, and then I guess I'll ask him about what they did with the, um, the mimic corpse, and... Um, what we can expect for payment for these bounties on these rare creatures. Hey, Ryan, turn off your noise suppression in your settings to see if that helps. Cause like your voice there, it randomly gets muffled. And I notice that oh. really messes up my mic sometimes. Well, where is that? Go into your settings, like go to your, like down on the right left hand corner, you'll have your name and it'll be say user settings. It's a little cog. You click on that, go to uh, voice and video. And if you go down and look at it, it should say noise suppression. And it should be checked on. Just check it off. Because it, like, muffles when you get close. And I'm wondering if it's just trying to suppress you. Oh, probably. Well, I turned it off. Does that help? Oh, that sounds so much better. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have that stupid thing on there if it does stuff like that. The stupid setting. You just need to learn how to control the volume of your voice. <laughs> 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 Sorry. So, oh, no worries. I'm just busting your ball. Um, where? I can't remember what the bounties were. I know you found it earlier and I had to search for it. Uh, compensation. I'm gonna okay. Have to take the bounties off, are um, 250. Yeah, I think we're just up. wrapping up anyways if you need to take off. So, yeah. um,. For dead things, they would still be paying you somewhat less. Um, Do they want this uh, slide? So I'm still, I'm still carrying that little slide around. The slide they would take the ones that are together. They will definitely take. Um, you'll get some money for each of those. Um, 250 for the whole group for um, each of the ones that are together. Uh, the Mimic will only give you uh, 75. Are we going to do a group pot for this money? Are we going to split it evenly? How are we going to do this? We can just split it. Uh, it's going to be in bills now, so it doesn't weigh anything. I also turned off sound noise suppression on my mic. Does it sound better or sound the same? You sound good. Okay. I had a fan on too. That's so maybe the fan thing. was uh, the fan might have been fucking with the noise suppression. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Um, let's see. So there is a contact who is a tabaxi, but for some reason I just can't find his name yet. Um, do we have, like, we have roles in this group, right? Do we have a treasurer role? That's up to you guys. I don't think we, I don't think we've talked about any of this yet, or decided any of this yet. Oh, yeah, we probably shouldn't decide till maybe the other two are here. So maybe just like keep it on your sheet, and then we'll kind of go over everyone. Because we have, we were supposed to select roles, right? Um, sure. Yeah, you can select your scholarly role just... and. Uh, you can select your, uh, if you want to have a treasurer, you can do that. Okay. I just want to be known as a guy that basically kills shit. <laughs> That's my role. I'll hand you some Keep everyone alive. So we all get 95 gold pieces, and then we got five gold pieces left to spread out among six of us. All right, so I'll we just get 95 it. then. Yeah, we just like yeah, and then we got 
Yeah, then we got like five extra, so. We can all go to the tavern and have a beer with those five. Right, nice. For everyone, I'm sure. That's a good idea. Yeah. We can go and eat a meal with that five, I'm sure. Or I don't know how, if prices have been inflated realistically, but... <laughs> How the how the gold actually is going? Yeah. Do we have like a shop that we can like an online shop that we can browse through, or are we? Bad. Is that something different we're gonna do later? Um. So there won't be an I online shop, was. but we won't have shopping episodes. So don't worry about that. You can basically okay. go in and say, "Hey, I'm looking for this kind of thing." Um. In. Wait. So we're not gonna have shopping episodes, or we are? We won't. I know okay. you really I'm didn't like, like it, shop. so I'm going to <laughs> keep that up. I, I am a, not a big fan of shopping episodes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I found your contact. His name is Little Patch. <laughs> and he is a... Um... Little Patch, they call me Big Trunk. <laughs> oh, my game just... There's something crashing on here right now. Um, What's going on here? And he is My Discord just crashed. The one who is able to oh, um, pay you for your time there. So uh, he's going to be staying in uh, Bryn Shander. And every time you go through that town, you can go to him and he'll pay you for your uh, time that you've been there since the last time you saw him. All right, and as for clothes, should we automatically just switch to warm clothes, or should do we have to buy them You'll separately? Have to buy those. Okay. Um, and, um. Yeah. Can we go and look up like the ten towns and stuff like that? Yes. Like, like the lip, like some of the, the basic stuff. Yeah. Okay. And this is in a future, right? So this is like uh, beyond the times of. All the classic stories, hey? Right. Could we could we use like, like because I read all the books, so could I we use that information yeah. to kind of add to it? Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Hey guys, I do have to go. Yeah. Because like I got I get up at four forty in the morning. Absolutely. I okay. So <laughs> you, you get your beauty sleep. Yeah. Oh, yep. buddy. So everyone yeah, levels up to two. Nice. Um, oh. If I sell that jeweled dagger and the six pairs of silverware, uh, what would I get out of that? So, the uh, silverware is 20 total. Um, jeweled dagger, let me go back and find... Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Later. Okay. Take see you later. Okay. Yeah. Have a good one. That is also 20. Right, so 40 gold? Yep, 40 total. Nice, I can start casting spells and stuff. Oh, wow. I can start punching people even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, there's a lot more fighting styles than I remembered. Wait, is it dueling is the one that everyone always picks for Paladin? I think it is. Um, possibly. Because I have a couple on here that I'm not used yeah, to seeing. Oh, apparently I don't have captures set up for here. Weird. Alright, I guess in my own time I'll go shopping in uh, Boulder Gate. Okay. So, yeah, you can shop for what you want. Uh, you're going to be leaving soon, basically. Um, so, yeah. I don't to handle the uh, bag of holding, because my rates can be all weird. Or does it, like, how does that work on D&D Beyond? Um, they don't have a thing for D&D Beyond yet. Uh, so you'll have to um, manually do all that. Yep. Um, I know... I have a table for a container. Okay, yeah. You can it's share that table and then that should be good. Um, 
so that's good. Or I might just put it in the uh, other holdings then as a bag of holding and just keep a manual tally. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Because I'll be keeping all my tools in there. Now I got a sweet magic spice jar. Yeah, it's dueling I think I want to do, because dueling I'll get two extra damage on my attacks. Lots of them, there's lots of other cool ones, but none of them seemed worth it. Yeah. I'll do dueling. Because, like, my damage output as a paladin isn't, like... Well, I guess I got smites now. Yeah. It's not as good smite yet. Damage. It gets better as you smite, as you get more smite damage and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my thing is, I'm basically going to be a tank, so I'm going to build myself into that. There's like a, what is it? Redemption, I think it is, is the one. Mm -hmm. And it's basically like if someone gets like, takes like a whack load of damage, I can use reaction to take it all yeah. rather than them. So that's what I was going to do that and take a feat and tough just to increase my hit points. So next time that uh, Patrick decides to get one-hitted, that I can just take the damage. <laughs> that was my plan, because everyone else is really squishy, so that's why I kind of was deciding Paladin that can do that. Yeah, that's true. They are yeah. pretty squishy. That's what... Yeah, because yeah. I was seeing that, and I was like, wow, you guys. <laughs> Those are like three bards, and I was like, oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. So I decided I should play that kind of paladin because I was like, I could play a cleric, but cleric's only good at bringing people back. I kind of want to prevent people from dying. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and also to have still have some damage output. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I think that's uh, mainly everything. Um, if anyone has anything else to bring up. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, we're just taking base health from D&D Beyond, right? We're not doing uh, no, health roll. adjustments. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. I knew that was too um, easy. If it's a one, you can re-roll, um, but you take the new, uh, you take one or the other of your two rolls. Oh, I have to prepare some spells here yes what should i take for some prepared sp how many spells can i prepare at a time only two um it will three. tell you yeah three uh... roll of dang some of these smites are i'm gonna have to go through my list here and pick what i like yeah, there's a ton of options for infusions. Like yeah. if you pick uh, the item, yeah, you can go through that. Yeah, there's there's lots. Um, I remember you telling me that you wanted to do the, um, the goggles uh, night because th those would give you thirty foot dark vision. Yeah, I choose those as one. Um, but then I got some more options. You get to a four infusion. But you learn, but you're only allowed to have two of them after the thing. Oh, you can have four. Okay. When you know four, you just can only have two active. Okay. So I gotta be on two. So I've gotta change everyone's vision as well. So oh. ceremony's a really weird one. Oh, here, we, here's a spell I want to prepare. Compelled duel. That was one I was looking forward to. Oh yeah, that's gonna come in handy. Get the hell over here. That's like one of. The, um, yeah, compelled duel right away, and like I think there's another one I get like right off the bat. Yeah, that's Where's the uh, the option for rolling? 
Um, it should be the very first page of the character creation. Uh, I believe it's before number one. I'm gonna let you guys go while I look through this. All right. Talk to you later. Oh. Have a good one. Wow, there's lots of like I don't even know if I want to take smites. Do you, okay with smites? Do I have to cast it as a like? Is it a spell that I prepare for smites? Like there's like searing smite, the smite, or is there like a general smite that I can just do? So, um, you've got a general smite, which okay. uh, is your regular one and costs a spell slot. Okay. And then you've got uh, your spell, your spells that are smites, um, and those ones also cost a spell slot because you're casting a spell. But um, they're uh, they don't do any additional damage; just whatever the spell does. Right. Okay, because I was like, there's some really cool ones on here, like uh, healing strike, compelled duel. I'm gonna take, and then there's shield of faith, which increases. Uh, a creature of my choice within range, granting it a two plus bonus for AC for ten minutes on concentration. Which, like, if I'm going to be doing compelled duel and shield of faith, like that could be pretty sick. Yeah. So I think I might do it because I don't think. Oh uh, wait, is it concentration for compelled duel? I don't think so. No, it is not. Uh, Shield of Faith is concentration, and I have healing strike. That's pretty. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Because then, if I cast Compel Dungeon, like, uh, and then cast Shield of Faith, if I have to try and kill me, and I'll have twenty AC. That's pretty sick. Something that I changed in one of the things messed it up for all of them so at least we're doing this so that I can get it all figured out oh I think with my divine smite no it's still a spell so those other smites are kind of pointless then because it's like oh add 1d6 or I could do a regular one and get 2d8 yeah but they do have special things like this one will do fire damage the branding smite so if you're fighting something that's uh, vulnerable to fire the branding smite might be better because you're going to do double damage. That sort of thing. I think, like, now that I'm actually kind of reading these, I feel like it's kind of like a misplaced thing. Like, I feel like you should either add these on top of your smites and make them really beefy, or have them as one of the smites you could, or, like, why well, have it as a spell you can prepare? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That seems kind of weird. Whatever, not, not, my, not my problem. Whatever, it is what it is. But I think I'm pretty good with the spells I picked. Those are pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, I think, uh, unless anyone has um, something else, we can uh, call her there. And... Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, cool. Health is, my HP is being all fucky, but I'll figure this out quickly. Do you have an automatic set to go up? Mine automatically went to 20. Mine went to 16, but I don't. it didn't actually roll, because I have... All it did was add my con modifier to my health. It didn't actually add any roll health to it. Okay. It took the average then. No, it didn't. Like if... I had, it didn't. At level 1, I had 12 health. And at level 2, I have 16. And I have a plus 4 con modifier, so it only took my con yeah. modifier. So you'll so have to manually increase it. I have to, yeah. And, I have oh, to I should probably look into that. Is I'm just making sure. On the. Uh, it's on, yeah, it's on the second page yeah, here. Class. I just, I'm trying to see how the roll, rolled HP value seems to be. So it would be a D. Like, I don't know if I should. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, it says my fixed HP is 16, which is what I started with. Yeah. And then it says plus four from like con, but I don't know. I don't even think I have a plus four constitution. 
what the fuck do I? And I don't yeah, know it's really way. weird. Like, cause for for monk at first level, um, so I'm eight plus my con modifier, so I have twelve at first. Yeah, level. my con's plus two. Why am I getting a plus four con on my mat, on my health? Yeah. So so we just need to make sure that we're maybe noting somewhere that it's not everyone or Brad can see it at the very least that what we rolled for our level HP. So I don't think which I don't think it actually shows anywhere because I go in here and manage HP, but like I don't because I have eight rolled HP. I take that eight out, uh, to, uh, it drops me to nine HP and it won't let me not have a value in there. Huh. So that the rolled HP is acting as though it's the um, just your con modifier. Updates. So I don't know if I should put H in the HP modifier if that's where we should be putting our rolls. So, manage HP. Uh, the roll HP would be what you um, get. Oh, you know what the hit point bonus is? The plus four from Constitution is? It's... Plus is it two. just the stacking? Yeah, it's stacking. So two from level oh, okay. one. Okay, I just kind of came to that realization. Yeah. Um, so I updated yours to um, uh, manual. So you're just gonna have to update your rolled. So it'll be ten, and then roll for your second level and update the rolled to ten plus that. So like for me, so, it's hit points at level one or ten plus your con mod. So right. I did have twelve. I like guess not sixteen. Right. 12. So my next one would be six plus. So be an extra additional eight. So yeah, no, it's right. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay. No, it's correct. Cool. I'm just a dummy. <laughs> I was just I uh, got myself really confused for no reason. So Brad, what I think I'm gonna do if if you're okay with it. Um. So I'm gonna put on my um my note sheet i'm gonna put my hp rolls okay. and i'm just gonna put them in there sure. um and then on my character builder sheet um on the set under number two where it says manage hp yeah uh i'm gonna put it i'm just gonna change the hp modifier to what my rolls my roll total is instead of the rolled hp i don't know if it really matters um uh, i don't know because the rolled hp is the one that um is giving your con bonus it looks like uh it adds it, the con so bonus just, to that all right, guys, I gotta get going. Okay, have a see good one. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. That's how this is working. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna end this recording. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. So to the uh, um, possible viewers, no, if we make this uh, visible, thank you for watching. I'm. I would be surprised if you watched this far for leveling as we we're sometimes silent and sometimes talking and sometimes making weird statements about the stuff but hey you got to watch me fix the cameras for three different <laughs> um for three different things so yeah